Hello and welcome back to our third episode of Spells and Swords Adventuring Campaigns. I am your host and DM Dungeon Master, Bree Christina. And with me is all me, always my family that is playing with me today. So Ooh. welcome back, guys. Thanks for being here. Oh, no, I can't uh, do it today. I will go and do introductions first. So we'll start off uh, with my beautiful daughter-in-law, Alicia. Uh, Alicia, why don't you just tell us uh, your character, just general character information about who you're playing? Yeah, uh, I'm playing Valeria Franco. She is a tiefling bard, um, and uh, shit, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's her. <laughs> nice. <laughs> and next we'll go uh, with my youngest son, Jacob. Tell us uh, who you're playing oh, today. Oh, yeah, shit. I forgot we were doing this. <laughs> oh, um, my God. You forgot where you were. <laughs> yeah, I was on the wrong... Uh, t- don't text me. Uh, anyways, hi. My name is Jacob, or Jake, whatever whatever you said. I forgot. Um, I'm playing a character named Cosmo, who is a tiefling rogue. Uh, yeah. Yes. Nice. nice. And then next we have uh, my oldest son, uh, Ryan, who's also the producer of the show. Ryan, tell us who you're playing and a little bit about your character. So I'm playing Theobard Eon, a wood elf wizard who is kind of half savage, half classy, and was raised by wolves until he started living with a shaman in a village. Nice. And then last but not least today, uh, we have my third son, Frankie, uh, who is going to... Uh, be kind of standing in here and there on random episodes when he's here. Right, uh, Frankie, why don't you tell us uh, who you were playing today? Uh, what's poppin'? So yeah, I'm Frankie and or Frank. I don't care what you call me. Really. Sorry, uh, I call him Frankie. Sorry. Um, I'm playing his familiar Grod, a, a dope gorilla. Nice. <laughs> who that, happens to be wearing a... Yeah, uh, sun I hat. acquired this sun hat upon our last adventure. <laughs> and now it has become me. Or, better yet, I have become the sun hat. <laughs> okay. So, as, uh, as those of you who have been with us on the last couple of episodes, uh, those of you who are new, I'll explain. We are a family that plays Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, we started out with second edition, adapted to fifth edition. We're still learning rules. We do a lot of homebrew, but we're definitely having a really good time with it. Um, we have had a couple episodes go by, a couple little adventures already. Um, I will go ahead and, you know, when the episode, uh, when they, we start the campaign, kind of do a, a little recap so uh, those of you who are just joining us can kind of understand where our players are. Um, if not, I'm sorry if you're confused. Those of us who have been with us, thank you so much for uh, checking us out the last couple episodes. We do appreciate it. Um, I want to just see if we have any announcements and then we'll do shout outs. Yeah. Okay, so Brian, any announcements? So, um, always, always don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. Um, hit the links below. We got link trees, which will pretty much, you can click the link tree and it'll take you to all the different various social medias and releases and stuff we have, like Instagram, Facebook, or music. So, check those below. Um, D&D shows are always going to be on Sundays. Our main ones will be at 12. So if you want to catch these episodes, Sundays at 12 is when they'll be airing. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Um, But yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Awesome. Um, I just wanted to do a couple shouts out. Um, We've been having, um, like I said before, on some of my different platforms, uh, trying to promote the show, getting it ready for the first uh, episode release, which is April 10th, guys. First episode releases April 10th. Um, So we want to give a couple shouts out to... um, couple of our fans that have subscribed already so leo big shout out to you thank you so much for your subscription and i also wanted to uh, shout out destro 350 thank you so much you guys we love you we appreciate your support um again if you're enjoying and you want to keep seeing us do this please hit the like and subscribe send us your comments give us your feedback uh we really appreciate it uh other than that i think we'll that's it we'll just do go and get started all right, we'll go ahead and get started. Uh, so we're going to do a recap. So last off, our adventurers um, had come together uh, in a tavern bar that they met in, uh, realized they had some aligned interests, and went out to get some information, uh, discovered some information about this dark cloud in the sky to the east, um, also got some information about some people that they are searching out. Um, they retrieved a contract for hire to go retrieve an item called the Heart of the Ocean. Uh, the last known whereabouts were with King Tristan of the Lower Oceans. Um, that was the information that the party got. They uh, asked for some help, 
went to the test temple, used a teleportation circle for the first time, uh, and took that to the town of Fendel, which was leading them closer to the Mermaid Isles, where they need to go to descend into the oceans for, uh, to get to the lower oceans. Uh, made it to Fendel Isle, found the beach they needed to go to, and started to prepare um, to descend into the ocean to go have this conversation with King Tristan. Um, we will kind of take off from there. Um, we technically did, you guys did, I believe, take your potions right before we ended. Yeah. But we'll kind of start with, you're taking, you're getting ready to take your potions. Um, you guys are deciding, you know, what your kind of plan of action when you go down is, and we will go from there. So, what are you guys doing? Mm, well, it was uh, arranged that they would all be going, and Val's going to be scoping out the area while you guys go and do, and do that. I thought it was originally that Elspeth was staying and you were going to No, because it's Elspeth mission. She needs to talk to Tristan. No, yeah. Yes. No. We were all going to do Elspeth that. claimed that it was her mission overall that she needed to talk to Elspeth and you guys were going to sure? talk to Tristan. At least it was do you want sure to my notes? Though. Yep. It's okay that Elspeth needs to go talk to Tristan because that's what... Lily and her talked about. Um, so Val said that she'd just hang around and watch her horse uh, and go and scope out the land around. Which let me see the map. Are you? They oh. are in Mermaid Isle, right? Yeah, Mermaid Isle is right here. Yeah, she was gonna just go roam around Mermaid Isle while they go do the mission below. Cause yeah, Elizabeth was gonna be the one that was talking with you guys. Okay, for sure. Well, I'm pretty much set if you guys are all ready. Yeah, I'm ready. All right, so we'll start following the path then down, I guess. Okay, so as you got to the beach, you had seen a ton of tracks descending into the ocean. Very obvious path of uh, where the lower oceans are supposed to be located. Just like um, you guys take your potions. Grodd has had a 24-hour water-breathing spell cast on him. Um, you guys start to descend and walk into the ocean. Um, very clear blue water. You can see the bottom as you're walking in, um, you know, going. Um, you do see that probably about 100, 150 feet as you're walking and it starts to get deeper and deeper that it drops off. Um, and you can tell that that's probably where you need to start to dive down. Um, so as you guys start to go in the water, your natural, being that you guys are not amphibian <laughs> or amphibious or, n you know, normal accustomed to breathing underwater, your natural instinct is to hold your breath. Um, and as you descend, you continue to hold your breath and hold your breath um, with that just slight fear of what's going to happen when I release. Um, you start to descend lower, lower, and we'll say, everyone, please roll a constitution check. Including Rod. Oh, do we have his info pulled up? I just wanted okay. it. Oh. <laughs> what? Nah, dog. Don't worry about it. <laughs> it's not. It's not. It's not information you need to know. But I, I could surely roll the one. <laughs> you <Yeah, laughs> <sure. laughs> okay. roll the one. I got a ten. Ten. Alicia. Oh, you're up. You're not there. Okay, uh, Jake. Sorry. I'm Cosmo. Please tell me. I'm and can sure. you roll for? Um, Elspeth? Oh, yes. I'm uh, 13. 13? 14. 14, okay. Um, so everyone but Grodd is okay. You guys are holding your breath. <laughs> um, you feel this tightness as you're at your last wit of being able to hold, and you release and... As soon as you do, you start to panic for a, a millisecond as the water floods in. But then you feel your lungs and your um, air passage begin to adapt. Grod, you get to your last breath and release. And the water starts to flood in and you begin to panic. Uh, roll a dexterity check. That 20? Yes. Okay, hold on. I rolled an 18. Let me see. Dexterity 14 plus 2. Okay, so you're okay. You don't you don't get so panicked that you start to swim in different circles and lose direction. Um, as you guys begin to fill the water breathing potion uh, take effect, 
you do start to descend lower and lower. You can feel the pressure of the water building. You can also tell that it is getting darker <coughs> and darker and darker. Okay. Who, um, if you guys can give me party order and how you will be descending down, uh, and in what order? Um, probably put like, thinking Elsbeth. Me and, and Elsbeth. Jake up front. And yeah, it would be. Him back. Yeah, that's how it would be. Okay. We we thinking squares or diamond? Or elongated triangle? Square. <laughs> okay, so you guys start to swim down and descend. Um, we'll say you get to about 200 feet. Um, everyone in the water, please roll perception checks. Um, Jake, or Cosmo and Elsbeth um, kind of motion to you guys in the water. They both see off in the distance, like lower below them, which looks like some uh, lights off of, slightly to the right from where you guys are descending. Gotcha. I guess we'll start heading in that direction then. Okay. Okay, you guys are swimming. Um, as you guys start to swim about another 200 feet or so down, you start to see tons of sea life in the water. Um, fish, you know, um, different seaweeds and shellfish and clams and things of that nature. Um, you also notice uh, long-tailed beings with male or uh, human torsos and arms. A lot of them are have like looks like. Um, like staffs or something in their arms, uh, swimming about. And as you begin to descend um, to about another 200 feet down, you become to see where this light is coming from. And as you look down, there is, is this what looks kind of like, um, almost like a snow globe, glass bubble over this huge area at the bottom of the ocean. And the light, what it looks like, as you see, is different fish, jellyfish and different kind of fish that are lighting up that are causing these lights underneath this bubble. Um, everyone roll a perception check. Jake, um, you start to uh, kind of look at the door more closely, and, you, and what this looks like to you is like a city. Um, as you go down and descend down more, you can see that um, at a portion of the dome, it looks like there's this arched way that um, these mer people or whatever are swimming through to enter into the city. Okay, so I guess I'll just start motioning towards like where we have to go. Okay. I guess I'll um, need it. Yeah, as you guys start to descend down and you kind of just get kind of an outside look at the city, um, it looks like there is kind of buildings and cave-like structures made out of like coral. Um, and then in the center of the city, you see this giant coral um, architecture building. Um, very castle-esque in the way it's shaped, but it's like natural coral formed. Um, so it's slightly off from that. Um, you see uh, tons of mer people, different fish and sea creatures swimming around um, in the city walls. Um, as you approach and you get closer down to the ground level of where the dome archway is, you see that there are two mer people at the archway standing guard with tridents in their hands. Uh, well, I'm gonna ask Elizabeth who wants well, mm -hmm. who should do the talking. I don't know it's your mission, but none of us can speak. So who's gonna do any talk? What do you mean? I'm all underwater. True. Sure. Wait, can they talk underwater? Like, does it sound like gurgling, or does it? I mean, you haven't tried to talk, or oh. yeah, they haven't tried to talk or anything yet. Just say 
guess we can walk up and see what happens. Yeah, Elspeth um, takes the lead and kind of gestures you guys to follow her, and she swims to the, the front entrance. Yeah. Um, she then kind of gets close to the guards and begins to talk, and it's not... You hear her and you understand her words, but it's a more um, muffled, wobbled sound, but it's not... You, you can still comprehend it. You can, And so... You guys are available to talk. It's just sounds and a little bit different, a little bit okay. muffled. Like if like someone's kind of cupping, you know, cupping your face or something like that. Um, she then goes and speaks to the guards and uh, lets them know that she is there to have a meeting with King, King Tristan sent by the SSAC. And um, you see the guard and her talk for a moment and then um, she kind of gestures over to you guys to come with her and follow and the guards look like they are leading you uh, somewhere into towards the castle. Gotcha. Okay. It looks like. In the general direction of the center of the city. Okay. What would you guys like to do? Well, I'm just gonna follow them. Yeah. Okay. But all right, Alicia. Um you're up on ground level, you're watching the horses. Yep. And hanging out. Is there anything that you wanted to do while you're waiting or did you want to go explore? She was gonna go explore okay. go around Mermaid Isle and see what's Okay. About. So most of Mermaid uh the island that you're on, most of this island is it's not like city built or anything. It's mm -hmm. uh, because it's the top level of the lower oceans, there's not like um buildings or merchants or anything like that. Mm -hmm. If you uh, were to travel to one of the my, um, islands over, mm -hmm. there's definitely like merchants and buildings and storefronts. Um, this island in particular though, because it is the top level of the lower oceans, does not have any anything like that on it. It's mainly just natural beach, um, kind of you know, tropical-ish area. Okay, so from where the ferry dropped us off, this whole you guys vicinity. had to walk five miles to get to this island yeah there was nothing there right uh, not on this particular island okay. if you wanted to go back the five miles to the first island that you guys landed on there's stuff there okay yeah she's probably gonna go back the five miles okay so you're gonna take the the walk back for the five miles yeah and uh we'll get back to you with there yeah um as you guys are walking uh to the center of town you do see that you are approaching which looks like the the castle um, you get to the uh, big coraled arch doors. It looks like there's these like uh, golden kind of handles on the front doors. The guards open them and kind of like uh, walk you in. Uh, you walk into this giant hallway um, with these big coral like kind of column like uh, pillars on each side, aligning the all going all the way down the hallway. When you get to the end, there's two big double doors. Um, they walk you to the doors, open up, and you guys start to enter what is, it looks like, the throne room. Um, it's probably about 60 feet um, across. They walk you to about halfway and ask you to wait there. And in front of you is uh, two big throne chairs. And it looks like on either side is also two kind of smaller chair-like um, sitting areas for people. Um, there's also on either side of from where you guys are standing, kind of aligning the walls, looks like these kind of bench-like um, sitting and table that kind of line the walls. Almost like a bleacher style, but with tables. Gosh. Um, as you guys stand there, you hear uh, this kind of, the sound you've never heard before. It's this, you, it's like a horn, but because it's like muffled and more, it's almost, it's very bassy. Um, but you see these uh, mer people uh, blowing these horns come out uh, as they're making the sound, uh, line the either thrones, uh, one on each side, and then another mer uh, gentleman comes out and announces, um, and he's got, um, you know, bottom is fins and everything, uh, and he's got his trident, but you see that he has some like adorned kind of necklaces. Um, around his neck and um, very fancy looking and comes in and announces all hell King Tristan of the lower oceans and as that is announced you see from the side entrance a merman come in very big merman if he was human height he would probably be about 6'4 uh, very big muscular well built long flowing white hair big flowing uh, white beard. He has a golden crested crown on top of his head carrying a triton. 
has lots of these um, necklaces and stuff adorning down his chest. Um, he also has, it looks like a chain around his waist um, that has some jeweled uh, kind of embellishes on it, around it. Um, hanging from that looks like some kind of not a sword, but it almost looks like a short spear from what it looks like to you. And then he's carrying a triton. Um, following him is a beautiful merwoman. Um, she has a more purplish kind of um, bottom to her fin. Um, she is in um, and also a kind of golden crown uh, on her head, wearing tons of necklaces. Her bosom are actually very... Uh, ornately covered by the jewelry that she's wearing. Um, you know, like, so she's basically not wearing a top, but the, where the jewelry is placed, it's covering all the important parts. Um, she um, also has what looks uh, like something in her hand. It looks like a, kind of like a scepter, like a small, like, scepter style staff. Um, they enter in and then begin to take their seats on the throne. Uh, King Tristan sits there and says, Welcome to the Lower Oceans. I am King Tristan. And uh, I believe you are here to speak with me. We received a message from Lily Whistlebrook of the SSAC. What is it that I uh, can do for you folks? Yes, so we are here on behalf of Lily Whistlebrook, as you know. Um, we're kind of on a quest right now, uh, dealing with certain prophecy. And we've come here because we're looking for the heart of the ocean. He kind of looks over um, at his wife, and she kind of like rolls her eyes, um, and he goes, ah, heart of the ocean, prophecy. So why don't you yes. tell me about this prophecy? Well, uh, basically, that there are these tears that come down, and this particular tear is kind of what gives us the prophecy, this tear is going missing. And we basically kind of need all of that can to... I, can I chime in here? Um, if it would just be easier for you to see, uh, the prophecy is right here. And I'll ask, may I come up and give it to A you? guard comes up and walks, uh, one of the mer guards, and grabs the prophecy and takes it over to King Tristan. And he opens it up and, uh, you know, takes a moment to read it. And kind of looks up and goes, wow, wow. This is very concerning. When was this discovered? Oh, well, I would assume very recently, but I don't know. You and it, what is happening up above? There's a dark cloud that's causing people to be corrupt, if I'm not mistaken, making them do things like harming people and killing people and people who are like political people who are reigning should not be reigning or be like generals or stuff like that. He gives us to the guard and the guard brings it back to you. Interesting. Well, I mean, being that we're down here, you know, we don't we don't deal too much with you guys land folk unless it's absolutely necessary. Um, but we have had had dealings with the SSAC before. Um, we trust them for the most part as far as land walkers go. Um, I'm going to be quite honest with you. I do not have the heart of the ocean anymore. What would happen? Well, it was stolen. By? My youngest daughter. Interesting. And where is she? She uh, fell in love with the human no good loser named Eric I could go take him out. decided to go get herself some legs and run off with him and in spite and just, just to despite me and her stepmother because she knows how much that meant to my wife here she took it with her do you and know, so I haven't seen it since do you know where she was heading when she took it with her or where this Eric is? I've heard some rumors. I heard some rumors that they might be staying up in some place called Pirate's Cove. Pirate's Cove. Uh -huh. 
Rod senses the copyright claim. <laughs> <laughs> Um, we're right. Um, okay. So last known, or the rumors that you heard was staying up in Pirate's Cove. Gotcha. Okay. What does your daughter look like? Yeah. And what's her name? Her name is Aria. <laughs> Frank's like, just say it. <laughs> <laughs> she has long red hair. Okay. Yeah. Blue eyes. I yep, called bet, it. Bet. Um... Early, you know, twenties. Yep, makes sense. All right. Yep. But she's a land walker now, <laughs> so not very distinguishable, if you ask me. Grog I mean, again finds that race. <laughs> I mean, technically, and uh, blood-wise, no. But yes. Well. What? Nothing. So what are you saying? Well, it, I would love to help you. Unfortunately, I don't have the heart of the ocean. I would very much like it returned to me. If you guys find it, if you could make that happen, me and my wife would greatly appreciate it. It was an an our first anniversary gift that I gave to her. Oh, we we can definitely get that back to me, no problem. Yeah, no worries. And also, as a little side job, if you need us to take Eric out, we totally could. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> take well, if something happens to that landwalker, I'm not going to be losing any sleep over it or anything. Yeah, no worries. That's just like an optional thing. See except for me, I'm... See what's up with some underwater bananas. I want to see that. <laughs> some <laughs> underwater bananas. Yeah, just some, like, seaweed. Um, maybe, like, fish. So, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I can't sorry. help you more. That's, so. unfortunately... Well, well, that's actually a lot more healthy. Well... We have a place to start now. See I have one more question. Do you think you could help us out on where anything on the prophecy? Maybe give us a hint of where we can look, and I'll. Very yeah. metaphoric. Very I give it like, like a, a big riddle. Imagine it's a big riddle. Never mind, I'm not there. <laughs> I hate this chair. I don't get no water bananas. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get no underwater bananas. Um. I mean, not much of this makes sense, but one thing I know is, uh, looks like you're gonna need the water elemental stone. The fucking what? <laughs> <laughs> what? The water elemental stone. Uh, looks like you're gonna need all of them. Uh, Definitely the water one, though, for sure you're gonna need, because that's part of it. Uh, um. Yeah, elementals of stone. Yeah, you're gonna need the water elemental stone. Particularly, or just all, all the. Looks elements. like all, but yeah. Also, he has. Um, water elemental stone. Wait, why would we need all of them? Because that's what it says. It says, it says it in the prophecy. <laughs> Rip's prophecy. I want the prophecy. Need not to read. It's <laughs> <laughs> arising new. Oh. Okay, no, that makes that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> All the elements are rising new. Yeah, no, that makes. Um, sense. see the world map. World map. Let me see the elements of water. Maybe I can help you out with that one a little bit. Give you something. Shit. says, well, I don't know exactly, but I think that the water elemental stone was said to be hidden in a cave near the cold sea by, can't see, it's not, Kaeth. Kaeth? Hidden where? Kaeth. Do you want me to point out where I'm telling you? Yeah. K K A E T H is what I'm right presuming. Okay. Right there. So it's hidden somewhere there? Apparently, that's that's the legend of it. It's hidden in a cave in, uh, near the cold sea off of the K.S. Island. Oh, I was so close. K-A-E-T-H-E. So close. Um, that's 
that's all I really know about that, though. I'm just legend, so. Well, that is still very helpful to us. It can definitely help us solve this prophecy out a little quicker. I mean, so this this darkness that you guys say is up top. Should the lower should the oceans be concerned? Possibly. Probably. I mean, everything Possibly. that affects up there eventually affects down here. Could you see him gesture calling one of the guards over and kind of whispers in his ear, and uh, the guard kind of like nods and then like swims off. Um, like, well, please let Lily I'll be in contact if you see her. I'm gonna see if I can get any info from. D I don't know what we will know being here, but. I'll put word out too, and uh, see if we can get anything found out as well. Yes, and uh, we will once we find the heart of the ocean and finish this with Lily. We'll make sure to bring it back for you. I uh, appreciate I'll, that. I'll bring you a drink from TikTok, but next time too, a special. Never had special. a drink from TikTok. You know, I don't obviously I get like out much. much. Yeah, I assume, but, uh, but I don't I like it. I'll bring you. That. I'll bring you and the missus. I just like you and his wife looks over. She kind of like grins. She's like, please, do. Get Most my necklace back. Not Maybe we'll problem. even get you a bottle. <laughs> um, I say, well, very well. I, I wish you guys luck. Uh, unless there's any listen. other questions. <laughs> any other questions? Uh, I think that's pretty much it. Oh, we got is where there? we go. We even got a little bit on the water stone and stuff. Yeah. Uh, we got what she looks like, name. They, they ain't got underwater bananas. Uh, they oh, they actually... Uh, do you have a description of what Eric looks like? Oh, um, good question. Black hair, uh, oh. blue eyes, gotcha. kind of average build. Makes sense. That's actually scruffy. good enough. To Human. Know, that'll be a big help. Yeah. Human. Human, okay. okay. Perfect. Well, well, I think that's pretty much it. Thank you, Your Highness. Well, we appreciate you meeting with us today. Yes. Under this, under great concern, I guess. I don't know what the fuck to say. And uh <laughs> Lily, it's always a pleasure. Yes, we'll do. Wish you guys luck and uh if we obtain any info we will try to yeah. get it sent and our way. I will I will bow and then I will And try he it. Yeah. His head. Have a pleasant day, Your Highness. He cuts his head. Majesty. And you see the guards as they see that notion <laughs> kinda go a little bit in front of you as to kinda lead you out towards a thing. Do they not care about the fucking gorilla under I throw, I throw a fist. I in mean the, air and walk the SSAC away. has had all kinds of people affiliated oh. with them and <clears throat> on our way they out were though, warned, so I do wanna stop by somewhere where there's maybe it's like a field of seaweed in the water and grab some for Grad to eat. Yeah. He's, he wants something to eat, so yeah. I wanna get I'm some feeling special. exotic. Don't you have Bananas in your back? No, he wants something special though, cause down. Oh, here. okay. Yeah, yeah. If I, 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 I tell him every everywhere I mean, we go, I always give him like a souvenir around. or something. Yeah. You know? I mean, we could, but it's like we got shit we gotta do. Shit we're yeah, no, no, that's what I say. Like on our way out, like we see like some fish or seaweed. We'll, we'll you grab see we'll like a, a like a little kind of market strip, a different kind Perfect. of coral like building. Been down there for twenty four hours. Merchants. No, we haven't. Our sea bananas. It's only barely been like an hour. Yeah, it's been like maybe an hour. Now, if you have the type of money they use, is the question. Oh fuck. <laughs> and this is a fucking gorilla that can breathe underwater. Cool. You know how I'm, Get I'm, a, like, I'm, I'm a wizard with stuff. Just I'm a wizard with objects. You know how fucking powerful I So I'll post the uh, market people. I have a nice Okay, uh, what, what type of merchant are you looking for? See, like you said, like food. food. yeah. You want food, right? Or do you want like a souvenir? Because uh, we can always get food somewhere you know, up top too, but you might not say. I think our keepsake would be cool. You want a keepsake? Okay, so yeah, we'll go somewhere like we can find some, kind of, some trinket grog like. Okay, oh, so uh, roll a uh, perception check. Can I roll one just because? <laughs> Ooh, that was good. That's 17 with a plus. Two, so 19. Okay. Um, you do. You find um, it looks like a couple of different merchants. One looks like it's predominantly like kind of clothes, uh, different clothing and jewelry. Um, you notice that the clothing though, like there's no pants. It's all like yeah, tops. torsos. Yeah, and stuff. tops and jacket type things. Um, and yeah, a bunch of jewelry in there. And then um, you also see what looks kind of like a um, not antiques, but like a, a wares shop. So like plates, bowls, cups you know, teapot, like th gotcha. things of that nature, like cooking and, and things like that. Like, well, Grat, do you see anything you like? 
Maybe I want I, I, bananas. Nah, nah, I want a chain, but not like an actual like. I'm th- I'm thinking like some kind of neck seashell necklace. Yeah, maybe? yeah, yeah, but something that's like ridiculous that doesn't look like he should wear. <laughs> <laughs> a seashell that's doing the middle finger. <gasps> no, like like a, a seashell bra. Do they have a gorilla sized seashell bra? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, fuck right. it. <laughs> you gonna get a gorilla sized sea- seashell bra? Yeah, fuck it, I'll That'll wear it be, out. That'll uh, be one silver. You got, you got a silver dog? <laughs> uh, it's always... He's gonna use his nunchucks, though. You want a bra? No, no, no. no I'm using his nunchucks. <laughs> okay. I'm like, you need a bra? I got you. <laughs> Give me two rocks. <laughs> <laughs> You're just holding them up all the time. Alright, no, I would just need one rock. Okay, that's a souvenir. Okay, Alicia, you uh, trek out, you know, take take the five-mile walk back, um, get to the bigger island where there's actually merchants and, and a dock and things of that nature here. Um, is there a particular store you're looking for, or do you just want to kind of walk around and see what you see? For now, she's going to walk around and see, kind of maybe look at if there's any merchants selling anything that catches her eye okay. or anything kind so of. So you definitely see a lot of like fish merchants, you know, that that type of stuff. Um, but you also see, um, looks like a couple little jewelry merchants, like different necklaces. And uh, you see a couple tables like that. Okay. Uh, you see a table that looks like it has like kind of blankets <laughs> and different palettes of that nature, animal skins. Um, as far as like uh, blankets and coverings right. go, okay. um, you'll see if uh, like a market that or a, a stand that would have like different um, tropical fruits. It looks like they're mainly based from off the island. Okay. Uh, so lots of different kind of exotic and looking kind of fruits that you haven't really seen before. Okay. Um, you see, it looks like a tent that has um, some kind of clothing items. Okay. Uh, different cloaks and robes uh, hanging up. Is there anywhere like a postal service? Postal service. Uh, not on mail? this island. There would be back in Fendel. Okay. Okay. Mm. Uh, she is there the is there any apothecaries, right? That's what they're called? Apothecaries. Yeah, um, apothecaries. Yeah. As you walk for a little while, you do find one, a little small kind of hut. Um, you enter in, and it's a, a small halfling uh, lady standing there. Um, kind of looks like working on some kind of like poultice or something that she's creating. She looks up and she goes, "Oh, hello, dearie. How can I help you?" Um, I am looking for anything that could uh, help disguising my features in any way. Do you have like? Any oils that, if I put it on, someone else sees something else than what I am? Illusion. Guys, your features. Um, you know, she gets out this little book. Okay. She starts kind of looking. Hmm. Ah. Ah. One, one second, dearie. One second. And she kind of like goes off uh, to the back and uh, you see her kind of like pulling, there's like this big shelf and she's like pulling different boxes out and gets to this one like kind of smaller box and kind of dusty and she like kind of coughs a little and like scrapes off the dust. She goes, oh, I think this is it. And she like opens it up. She goes, oh yeah, this is it. She brings this little box and it has, um, she opens it up. She goes, well, um, these are um, disguise yourself, disguise self potions. Okay. Um, each one is one, one hour. Um, but you could drink this, and for one hour you could look like some somebody else. To my choosing. To. Um, so each one is forty-five gold. Okay, we'll do that. And do you want one, three? Um, let's do. Forty-six. Well, I have seventy. I can't do the whole two hundred. Can I get eight? She only has three. Oh, shit. Yeah. Okay. I'll get all three. <laughs> uh, okay, so yeah. So three, yeah. All right, so it's 130. And yeah, they're an hour each. You drink it, it lasts one hour. Plus three. Okay. So if you drink two at once, it only lasts five minutes. One hour, okay. And then do you have anything, this is gonna, do you even take like commissions? Is that even a thing with the apothecaries? 
commissions? Yes. Like, if I ask for a certain type of spell, is there a way to make that happen? Or, or type of potion to make that happen? Like, are you saying, like, create a potion? Yeah. Person? Oh, yeah. that you'll want to see a wizard for. I just happened to come across those in travels on a trade for someone that owed me money. Okay. Yeah, I don't actually make those myself. I just happen to come across them in travels. Okay. And do you know, like, do you, do you have any specific dealers that I could talk to? Like, wizards, do you usually get your, uh, your, do you usually order your potions from wizards or what you have from wizards? Do you know any I could talk um, to? I don't normally have them. I just happen to have these okay. ones. Okay. Uh, but if I, w yeah, I, I don't have, like, a wizard that makes me anything. I just would normally go to a town that had an enhancement shop or an enchantment shop. Cool. All right. I think there's one in TikTok. That's the one that I go to. That's how I came across these, was I was traveling through TikTok. Okay. There's some good ass bananas. Hmm. Okay. And then... Okay. Oh, a lot of good ass bananas. Good oh, mangoes. Dried <laughs> the dried mangoes. <laughs> um, alright. Um, They're really good. Let's see. Trying to think, I'm trying to think, I'm trying to think. Mm, is there any... Any potions or oil scents, whatever you would recommend to an adventurer like me that's really stealthy? Invisibility potions. Snake potion. Mm. I'm new to this. To make you stealthy? Or to help me be stealthy. Stealth is usually my thing, so anything you think I would, Vampire I should dust. look for, even if you have it or not. Vampire um, I think they saw that on the east side of TikTok. Maybe find a wizard that can blood cast gas. Pass Without a Trace on you. That's up north. Okay. Do you know blood gas when it isn't? When you eat a turn to this one? Or technically it's chameleon, but... Oh wait, um, I mean that one game. So yeah, when you cool. think about it, Predator doesn't All right. have invisibility. She's gonna write that yeah. down on a piece of paper <laughs> and stick it in her pocket. Uh, she's gonna be like, okay, and then she's gonna give her the 135 gold and throw in an extra five for a tip. Oh, thank you, dearie, and she closes up the box and pushes it towards you and oh. takes the gold off the table. Awesome. Didn't even get the box. And then she is gonna, the yeah, take the box, <laughs> put it on her horse, <laughs> secure it on there, and then she's gonna keep walking with the horse. You brought the horse okay. inside the shop? Okay. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> definitely. Uh, but yeah, and then she's gonna go look around for a tavern. While okay. she's waiting. Um, you see, it, it's not like a tavern. It's more like kind of like a very small, just like one room shack that has, you know, one table and a couple chairs and a, and a small little bar, very small little bar area. Nice. Okay. Um, you go in there and uh, behind the bar is a half orc. Mm -hmm. um, kind of like wiping the counter. Like, what you drinking? Uh... What's the strongest? He looks at you. I got uh, maybe some fire ale. ale. Fire ale? Okay. <laughs> Coming right up. Okay. And he like, gets a cup. Uh, literally um, he gets this uh, greenish kind of glazed uh, bottle. Okay. And uh, grabs a glass and begins to pour it. And you notice when he's pouring it, it's like this orangish, kind of reddish like liquid. Mm -hmm. um, Slides it in front of you, and he goes, that'll be five copper. Five copper? Okay. You got it. Takes five copper. Open okay. um, as you get it close to you, it smells very, like, mentally. Like, very strong. It's like a flame. <laughs> she, she doesn't want to pussy out right now, even though she's, like, kind of a little bit scared now. Yeah. She's going to just fucking, like... Take that shit. As you do, when it first goes down, it almost you almost feel this like kind of cool, <laughs> cooling sensation. But okay. then, like about halfway down, <laughs> it starts to burn <laughs> bad, <laughs> like super <laughs> burning. <laughs> super, your eyes start to water. Uh, roll a Constitution check. <laughs> so we're over here doing work, and you're at the bar getting fucked up. Fuck! I got a three. <laughs> you you know, like, immediately oh, no, like start to cough so hard that you puke all over the bar. <laughs> nice. Okay, she's gonna do that, right? She's gonna. Give me another one. <laughs> and he's gonna be like, "You're gonna clean that up."
Yep. But she's gonna just start smearing and <laughs> slip it off on the board. She he, uh, he gets the bottle again and comes and like fills up your glass. He goes out of five copper. Does that hit? Like it, it immediate yeah, you and it's burning <laughs> like the burning sensation does not like mellow. It's still like she, burning down your throat. She <laughs> when you said apothecary, it's like, oh, she's actually doing something nice. Oh, you, I did one responsible thing, now I'm good. Uh, kind of, you know, traverse the town a little bit. Do you guys want to look for anything else while you're down here before you start descending up back onto the beach? Dog underwater bar. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> underwater Jaeger <laughs> bombs. <laughs> underwater Jaeger <Yeager> bombs. <laughs> Are you good? Yeah, I think I'm good. You're good? I love you. Yeah. You guys are ready to start descending up? Okay, right. so you guys kind of just take the path that you came down and start descending up. And after, you know, about an hour or so of just constant swimming up and up, you do guys start to, you know, get dark again for a little bit. And then you do start to see the peak of light from the sunlight at the top of the ocean. Okay. Uh, Val, <laughs> you're on your second drink. You are. The orcs wow. guy are just like watching you. He's waiting for you to take your second one. <laughs> she's gonna try and look confident, like. Yeah, I'll throw up. <laughs> she's gonna gag a little yeah. bit, but she's gonna fucking take that shit like a champ and just go. Roll a constitution check with advantage. <laughs> you've experienced it before, a little more prepared this time. <laughs> this is gonna suck. <laughs> with advantage, with advantage, you gotta roll it again. <laughs> you take the higher. Did you roll the same thing? That's a nine. I Okay, so again, the fucking same it's nine. Thing. Nine immediately. <laughs> again, it's the you know the cool kind of sensation for like a little bit, but then like halfway down, getting it out, you feel the burning, and again, blah, all over. So, well, she's gonna hunch over this time because she expects this, so she's gonna hunch over and now, for the floor. Now the half orc kind of is like, all right, and takes the bottle away. <laughs> <laughs> like, we're done with this. <laughs> He starts to get like a towel. You can see he's kind of like trying to like clean up the thing. <laughs> She's gonna clear him out. Puts a cup in front of you, kind of splashes it in front of you. Drink this. Nah, I'm fine. It's water. <laughs> Drink it. I'm fine. I can handle my liquor. She's just gonna. <sighs> okay, I just had cotton mouth. Okay. okay. <laughs> She'll be like, thank you. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> She's gonna leave. leave. Okay. Immediately leave. <laughs> she walks now out. she has a good buzz in her, or is it like a? Oh, a good. Oh, I mean, you buzz. still do because regardless that you threw up, you still got some in you. So yeah, you still got some to kick in. Okay. Cool. So now she's just bye, but now she's gonna and get back on her horse. A mess. Yeah. Now she's gonna get back on her horse and just salute take me. and just ride away. Okay. She's gonna go back and see if they came back too. Yeah. Sure enough, you, as, as you're kind of a little off in the distance, you do see them kind of starting to walk up drenched, you know, soaking wet, and they're, you know, from getting out of the ocean. Um, what did you guys take off of you before you descended into the ocean, and what did you keep on you? I would have left all my stuff, my gear on the horses, and just spit in my, I mean, my clothes. Just your clothes? Yeah, I would have yeah, left my same. backpack. Okay. okay, so yeah, your clothes are all wet. Everything else that was left with her. Mm -hmm. I come back with all you guys' horses. I'm gonna be like, what's up, guys? Hell, you smell like you threw up. I did. Twice. <laughs> Twice, yeah. Great. You should. Yeah, it was a pretty awful day. Some girl walked in and just threw up all over my bar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She's like, I did, but. Rod wants to find out what she had. <laughs> so, clearly, you went out to the city. Did you know? Do you know if there's a bathhouse there? Uh, it didn't look like it did. Honestly, I think we should just go to Fendel. This place just has, like, the bare minimum of markets. A good, good bar outside, but... Okay. Yeah. Well, Alright, then, I guess we'll start heading back to where the, uh, Imagine the dock is. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, Alright, you guys gonna, like, make the five mile walk back and just go back and catch the ferry back to Fendel? Yep. Yeah, I'm gonna switch into some dry clothes first, and then... Okay. Go. Uh, I I start spinning in a circle with my arms out. And really <laughs> you just so Elsa says, exactly. um, should we really go back to Fendel? Because we really need to go to Pirate's Cove. Yeah, I don't know. Why would we go to Fendel? Do you go to, what did Tristan tell you guys? We need to go to Pirate's Cove. Pirate's oh, Cove shit. For, is the, that where the heart of the ocean is? Mm -hmm. Yeah. The did he sell it? No, his 
uh, his youngest daughter stole it. Youngest daughter stole it right away from home. Yep. Yeah. With another man named um, Eric. Boyfriend. Yeah. Yep. Okay. And I bet they're probably going to use it to get married. Ah, no, 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 no. Copyright. Uh, 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 they're, they're yeah, gonna, wait, do you think <laughs> you pawned it? Wait, wait, no. Okay, well... Okay, so, daughter, what's her name? Um, Aria. 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 What does she look like? Red hair. Red hair. Blue eyes. Air. I meant, uh... D uh blue eyes? Uh, yeah, blue eyes. What about her man? Um... Uh, looks like Uh, man. black hair, blue eyes, scuffery, scuffy, fuck. What's his name? Eric. Red. Okay, so we're looking for an uh, Eric and Arya. One red hair, blue eyes. The other one, black hair, blue eyes. Yes. Okay. Pirates Cove. Yes. yes. That that's the that was the rumors that they were in Pirates Cove. Pirates Cove. Okay. Uh, Which man. they could be somewhere completely fucking. Do different, we know what the heart of the ocean looks like? Like a. Did diamond. you guys ask? Like a diamond. If I'm not mistaken. Okay. You're uh, making an assumption? So wait, okay, fuck. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> we never asked. Fuck, okay. So, no, but uh, since we don't know what it looks like, that means we can't find it in, if it got pawned. Well, it's just a big so ass we need diamond. to find her. Yeah, it's just a big ass diamond. I've never heard of the Heart of the Ocean, so I don't know it's about like that. A, well, they, okay, King Tristan and his wife, I don't know what her name was, um, they used it, uh, as like the ring, if I'm not mistaken, too. A ring? Yeah. So it's a ring? Yes. Okay. No. No, it was a necklace. It was too big for a ring. It was a necklace. Same shit. No, it's no, it the both yeah. jewelry. They're for but someone look for a ring. Fuck off! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so scratch that. He said necklace. If I can walk up I'm to a girl with about. a Cuban link and propose. I'm fucking tired. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're looking for a necklace. Okay. So Pirates Cove. Uh, do we have this map by chance? Like, right? We have this yes. map. Okay. No, so we keep gonna... it all by fucking memory. <laughs> I thought we did. Uh, okay, <laughs> so Pirate's Cove just travel is... That often. Private... No, that's a private aisle. Uh... No, I know where Pirate's Cove is. Sirens. Just gotta look. Dragon. Right there. Boom. So in reality... Shit, so we need to find another port that would take us to Pirate's Cove, because that's like a good minute away from here. Or... Fuck that. We can go back to Fendel. For what? Hear me out. Maybe they have a. Maybe I have they. Maybe they have a test temple in Havenburg, and we can just teleport there. Instead of making the trip, we can just walk there or like horseback there. Why don't we just message um, Lily. Lily? Yeah. How can we get in contact with Lily? Well, I have the sending stone. Uh, okay. And then, is that all that Tristan told you guys? Like, just to find his daughter for the heart of the ocean? Oh, and uh, he gave us a little bit of uh, information on the prophecy. Okay. Should we send that back to Lily right now? And let her know where we're going? Well, I'm saying we should contact her to see if she can get us there. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Who has a sending stone? I do. Okay. Um, so I'll contact Lily and let her know that we're trying to get to Pirate's Cove and things changed. And okay. she has a way for us to get there. Um, she says she she doesn't, unfortunately. Um, she's just recommends if, if you are near a port, though, they should have a boat that would go there. Cool. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. We just have to cross the Zestian Sea and go are to Are you going to give her the information about the water elemental? Yeah, that's what I say. Yeah, I'll tell her all that. Um, she thanks you, so that, that's very helpful. Um, they were thinking they might need those, but they weren't positive. But um, King Tristan knows a lot about that, the water elemental stones, so if he's saying that's where it's been said to have been uh, hidden, then that is definitely probably a good lead to start when we are looking for that. Okay. Okay. All right, so let's go. You want to go to the ports and see if we can find a ship or a ferry to take us to Pirates Cove? Sure. Okay. Okay. So you guys make the trek back to the dock, and it's the same gentleman, dwarf gentleman. Um. Uh, she's gonna say, "Hey, uh, do you have any way for us to get to Pirates Cove? Any ferries from here?" Um, we have a boat that goes that way too. Did you want to switch your 
passage back to Fendel to a one way that way instead? Yeah. Okay, so we can do that. And you're trying to get to Pirate's Cove? Yeah. We actually don't go to Pirate's Cove. We go to. There's a dock right before it um, on the right, towards the Port right. Port City? Of Port City. Port City. We dock there and then you can trek, walk from there to Pirate's Cove. That's fine. That's fine. Sounds good. Uh, okay, how much? So we'll do the transfer. Um, it's going to be an additional one silver. Okay. For each person. And an additional five copper for animals. I'll just, I'll just make life quick. I'm just going to toss them a goal and say keep the change. Okay. Um, we're actually we... taking the next ship for that one's actually leaving in like 30 minutes. So I do suggest you guys get down to the docks to catch that boat or you'll oh. have to wait three hours for the next one. Shit. Okay. Shit. Okay. Well, we should start heading out. We're going to take, I'm going to take the ticket. We're going to start going then. Yeah. yeah, he gives you all the tickets of, like he did before. These are only one ways mm -hmm. um, to get you to Port Port City, I think it's called? Yeah, yeah. yeah Port, City. Port City. Okay, cool. Uh -huh. um, so you guys uh, get to the docks um, where he tells you which uh, ship is going to Port City. Um, you hear the dock master of the ship uh, announce all aboard. Actually kind of rushes you a little bit because you guys were just in time to, to get there for loading. Mm -hmm. um, they set you up in your rooms. I'm assuming you have the same conversation with them about Grog. Yep. Okay, so oh, we'll, awesome. we'll, five gold. for for time's sake, we'll we'll say that you know with the with a little bit of bribery, uh, you know you you are able to get Grog his own room. In case y'all don't know, it's, it's kind of easy um, to get a. They let on you a know that this will be um, an overnight trip. They do expect to arrive to the port in the morning. Okay. Okay. Cool. Uh, dinner, they will do be serving one meal for dinner as per the time that you guys are on the boat, so you can go down to the mess hall and eat. It's already included with the ticket. Um, and yeah, about eight, uh, they should be expecting to dock in Port City in the morning. I okay. bet this is the most you've ever spent on a familiar. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so as you guys are all set, I think we'll take a quick uh, break right there. Okay. A little bathroom break here. Um, but we'll be right back after these messages, guys. And hey, while you're sitting there, after you go pee or grab your beer or whatever it is you're going to do, hit the like and subscribe button. We would appreciate that. Grab me so a beer, out. too. <laughs> like and subscribe. Hey, yo, yo. My track and nature get manipulated to giant your playlists. You couldn't fathom the lightning beat sweeping the hand seals for the water dragon when the storm is active. He sort of mastered this. Seven, seven, seven swords of the mist hidden in bliss of action. Yo, still sharp and still every swing is passion. A mantra. Always knew we had the breath of the sun before he was yeah, actual. Like Bobby, I'm gonna shoot the speed, drop the weight, and now I'll make it bleed. I'm a warrior, shit, yo, I'll take the lead. Can't see my attacks, so I help the lead. Break the shell, and then I find the ghost. Or grab program, total host. Got the cheat codes like it's the Oko. Now then what they make you go go. Now you see me charging up. Go Going super saiyan, like MF2, I'm screaming all caps when I'm spraying. You're too slow to keep up with these lyrics that I'm saying. Ten steps ahead, but I need you formulating my strategy with a sick future diary. You stuck in the matrix while I'm acquiring exponential higher.
Give me a break. Killed my master and my sensei. Hurt my friends. Destroyed my village. After all the horrible things you've done, don't you dare talk about peace and justice. And tell me, what is your goal? First, I'm gonna kill you. I'ma push this blade slow through your motherfucking neck. Yes. We see Magneto push the coin through Sebastian's neck. I got the power and all the juice. I'ma pull a few of your screws loose. I turn your emotions into a weapon. Use against you like I'm an ex. I'm gonna see my shoots and raw power. Now you feel me and then you cower. I'm the best ninja in the world. Take you to the never world. Now these things will get to lock and try me, but there ain't no stopping. Can't kill me now. I'm a god. Yeah, master death and now I got you. I got this paralytic clothes that creep through your blood. Scream they freeze and burn your veins and make you silent when you scream and then you fall into a nightmare where I control your reality. Snuff your lights out. I fucking told you not to bow. Oh shit, good to see you there. What's happening, y'all? It's Big Boy Ninja here. Guess what? I got a new album out right now. It's called The Gas of EP. Check it out. You just hit the link in the bio. You can stream anywhere. Spotify, Amazon, YouTube, SoundCloud, doesn't matter. Wherever you prefer choices. Check it out. Welcome back, you Friends think I'm just being negative, but they don't really know how crazy this shit's been. Started out with my teeth breaking down on me, then got kicked out, lost my job to a C. No more financial stability, and I had to give up my dog. Uncle fucked me over, had to cut him out. See, bitch, you wanna slide on it and ride on it. Baby, you wanna glide on it and grind on it. Baby, she go fly on it. I lose focus. I had to shake my head and bring it back. I'm big stroking. Big smoking, eating on a pain, that pussy potion, I traveled overseas. The big ocean. Don't think a shit don't think good. So I'm to pass the anthrax ampex to give you a little slap. Cause I promise the only way that I ever would tap tap that. Now you begging on your knees and saying how you wanna go back. The only thing for me to pass will get is this fucking track. I bring the ruckus like the method man with a plan Fill the dam with some dead bodies and fill it with quicks And I move with intent like I'm ghost face Handing out these hands Serving up these moments like a chef I pray like I leave them damn And I wonder why they try Like why? you're too dumb to even comprehend Flowing rhymes I'm Bruce Lee surfing on the waves of these And welcome back We were just uh, leaving our uh, adventurers We're getting settled on the boat uh, for the night to take the trip to Port City where they will then um, head out to um, head towards uh, Pirate's Cove uh, once they land in the morning. And actually I just realized it actually won't be morning when you guys arrive because I forgot you had to do the six hour trip first. So it's actually going to be kind of like sundown when you guys get to Pirate's Cove. Uh, well, to, to Port, City. Port City. I mean, Port yeah, City. Port City. Gotcha. yeah, when you guys get to Port City. <clears throat> It'll be close to sundown. Okay. Yeah. Um, so we will start there. Is there anything you guys want to do on the boat at night before you guys get to uh, Port City? Yes. I'm going to make a couple scrolls. <laughs> <laughs> Val's going to get really, really bored, so she's going to go put on her cloak and pretend to be a ghost and scare people. Pretend to be a ghost to scare people? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, roll a deception okay. check. Okay. <laughs> Fuck. No, well, sixteen. Okay. So okay. you definitely get a couple kids. Okay. They they you know, they get freaked out. You see them running off to their oh, mom, yeah, like, mom, mom, there's a ghost on the Yeah, she, she's gonna go up to no. she's yeah. gonna go up to a few kids and be like, listen to your mother. I'm gonna take you down into the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> and then she she's gonna tell some more kids like. Be good or I'm gonna eat you. She's gonna walk away. So yeah, you get these kids like freaked out, <laughs> running, you know, running off to their parents, crying, <laughs> saying they're hearing ghosts and the the ship is haunted. Yeah. Um, you see a bunch of other people kind of looking at the kids, like you know, oh kids, you know, not really paying too much attention. Okay. Um, Theobard, what are you gonna be doing? Uh, I'm gonna spend my time making spells for the night. <laughs> okay. Uh, Grod. I'm yet again stealing soap. You're stealing everything out of the room that you're in. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> and, Not uh, everything, Cosmo, just like, you know, like... Whatever small, you can. Small stuff. The small stuff. Yeah. Okay. Uh, roll an investigation check. <laughs> roll an die six? No, it's a die 20. All right, for sure. For sure. <laughs> 10. 10, and then what does he... He probably has nothing for a guest investigation, huh? <laughs> no. Uh, like, hold on, let me double check. I'm pretty sure I don't. Just 10. Um... Yeah, you find a, a small bar of soap 
Um, it looks like mine. a hand, kind of hand towel. That's mine. Um, there's a small pillow and blanket on the bed. I'll keep those inside. Okay. <laughs> You're like, mm, I might take them. Yeah, there's a, there's a desk in here. It looks like it has like a one piece of parchment and an ink and quill that's on the table. So we wanted to like write a note. I'll um, take that. Okay. So, okay, yeah, so I'll take it for him. All right. Uh, oh. Um, Cosmo? Well, what, 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 you're just going to sit in your room flipping your knife? Yep. Okay. Uh, Val's going to use what she has in her forgery kit because she really wants to just keep fucking with people and just see how far she can get with this. Okay. She's going to take some, like, paper and some quill and kind of do a little creepy note. Okay, so roll a performance check to see how well you... Uh, do you have forgery as a proficiency, though? No. Or just a kit? Okay, so we yeah, just, just roll a, a performance check. You know what? While I'm writing scrolls, too, I'm going to set up on the table a little spot for Grodd to, like, paint. Okay, if you like finger paint? Hey, <laughs> Grodd. Okay. <laughs> 18. <laughs> okay. Um, it, it's pretty good. Yeah. It, I mean, nice, you, like it's from what you look at it, you're like, it's pretty good. Okay. Uh, she's gonna write on there, uh, I, I am the ghost of forest. seas past. <laughs> okay. And I've chosen your ship as my next capture. Okay. Punching in my throat. Uh, into a mountain. Bring your children in to leave your children out. As sacrifice, if you don't want your men to be taken alive. <laughs> okay. She's gonna just leave that floating, like somewhere. She's gonna just drop it somewhere and just like disappear away with the little cloak. Oh, we actually need to turn the. And just like to add a little bit of pizzazz on it, she's gonna like barefoot her feet in the water. She's gonna walk around with her feet all wet, so there's wet footprints everywhere. Okay. And she's just gonna fuck around and just see how far that could go. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Sure enough, uh, Val, as you're, like, walking through the corridors with, like, your bare feet, like, trying to nonchalantly, like, leave these, you do uh, hear kind of behind you this, like, sounds like a couple, like, what's this? And then you hear, like, a paper kind of, and like, what? Leave our children? What? And then you hear them, like, we should probably give this to, like, Captain, and you hear them kind of walk off in the, in the distance. Okay. She's just gonna go back to her room now. Okay. <laughs> maybe push. Oh, it. Shit, maybe like tug a kid here and there just uh, to scare him. Your finger painting. Yeah, that's that's what we can call it. Okay. <laughs> Roll a performance check. Get a one. Hey, fuck you. So it's I like, got a one. You know, a stick figure, something that looks like a banana, but where the hand is placed, it almost looks like he's holding his thing. It's like. <laughs> Very awkward and kind of uncomfortable picture. Uh, not drawn very well. Very good, Grodd. I'm going to hang this up. <laughs> very good, Grodd. <laughs> um, so you guys, you go about your business for the night. Um, you're practicing, you know, scrolls. Cosmo's getting really handy with his knife, flipping it over and In over In fact, is, is there like a, a hang-up board somewhere on the ship that has like, like random flyers and notes and stuff like that? Um, there is a cork board in the mess hall. Perfect. There's like only two notes uh, okay, on it. Okay, God's picture. Like, can you hang this up on the cork board? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Here's God's picture. Oh, show the camera. <laughs> 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 Alright, hopefully. That one. <clears> Hold <throat> on. Let me see if I can make this. So, that's, that's, that's God. <laughs> and that's his banana. <laughs> and and Grodd's happy with his banana. Can I see the picture? So that's good. What gets hung up on the cork board? Oh, we ship. love that. We love it. Actually, Him and his yeah. banana. So yeah, Val, yeah, you go hang that up on the cork board for Grog. Stand back, all proud. Grog, Grog, did you? You almost feel like a little bit more bonded with the familiar after that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a little bit more bonded. She's just um, gonna look at that. Like, you guys go back to visit, so you have your dinner that they provide on the boat. Um, get to, you know, your evening's rest. Uh, you get your full night's rest. Remember, I, you know, get any spells you want to recoup or anything like that if you used any. Um, sure enough, next day happens. Um, the boatmaster uh, lets you know that there is breakfast being served in the mess hall. Um, it'll be pretty calm waters that they're expecting throughout the day. 
They'll do lunch at noon, and then they should be docking at around 4.30 in the afternoon, just a little bit before sundown. Gotcha. Okay. I don't gotcha. make sure the camera's focused. Like, oh, <laughs> um, anything that you guys want to do on the boat during the day before you arrive at the dock? No. Um... Um, oh no, okay, that's a different. Okay, never mind. I don't think there's anything I really Yeah, do. no, nothing really. Okay, so normal day goes by. The boats are the boat is pretty calm. They're not like on choppy waters or anything. Um, sure enough, you guys do see it looks like the sun's slowly starting to set as you are guys pulling up to um, Port City docks. Um, pretty bustling dock, fairly good sized little town. Um, definitely. Um, Different different races here. You see dwarves and oh, uh, half orcs and halflings and elves walking around. Um, pretty much looks like a, a port type city though. Lots of fish merchants and things of that nature around. Um, what would you guys like to do? Do you guys want to stop and get anything before we go to Pirates Cove? I'm always down for a banana, but that's just me. Is there? Can I make a perception check to see if there's like a blacksmith around? Sure, roll a perception check. I don't remember what my perception is actually. Let's find out. Mm-hmm. 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 Oh, that's perfect. Uh, uh, dirty 20. Dirty 20. Um, yes, you see it looks like um, if you kind of head into town and go down the main street, down kind of at the corner on the right-hand side, there is a blacksmith shop. Perfect. Um, where are you going? Wait, shit. Was it a blacksmith that I wanted? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Damn. I forgot Damn. if it was a blacksmith or if it was... What are you looking to do? Make a teapot. You want to make teapot? a teapot? It's a special teapot. Why don't you... Do you have to get it custom made? Yeah, because it's not an actual thing in D&D. Oh, like yeah. a kettle? Do you want like a kettle? No. Okay. Here. Like an actual teapot. No, no, no. Teapot? Okay. From player to player, what the teapot does is like it's when you open it, it's a normal teapot, but there's a secondary opening where you can put like poison and shit in it. Oh Jesus. Yeah. And I'm. Oh. Uh, okay. That's why. Maybe a blacksmith could help you. We usually blacksmiths do like weapons. I see you would actually want to go more to like a porcelain maker. Yeah, something like that. Okay. That's, yeah, that's what I meant to say. A porcelain maker. I'll make another Pottery. one. If, yeah, yeah, well, you Pottery. can't find that, but you for surely found a black one. Yeah. <laughs> At least I found one, so do I have to make another one? I'm assuming. You want to find a, a porcelain like pottery, pottery, yeah, pottery place instead? Yeah, you, can, you find a pottery place instead. Okay. So then, yeah, so I'll, I'll go in and I'll... Uh, I suggest. I su- <laughs> Shit, I dropped my pencil. Um, I'm waiting right don't I need to interact? Or do you uh, interact? You're, oh, you're, are you yeah. all heading there? No, I'm heading there. I don't. Are you guys following me? Yeah, now? no, I'm gonna follow. Okay. Yeah, I'll okay. wait outside. Grod is curious. Grodd okay, is so curious. you go in, and um, there is a uh, halfling behind the counter, gentleman, and uh, about mid thirties, uh, kind of auburn, kind of hair, very kind of skinny. And you said what race? Ha- uh, halfling. Halfling. Yeah, halfling. Uh, Kind of this like auburn colored hair, like freckled face, uh, very lanky kind of body type. Perfect. He goes, oh, good evening to you. What can I help you with? Uh, oh, fuck. I just lost my train of thought um, for a minute. Um, hi, so I'm here to make like a special type of teapot. It's um, it's kind of like it, like it has two compartments in it. So like it's like a normal teapot, but it has two compartments inside. Like one, like at the very bottom, you can put like sugar in it, and at the very top, you can put like tea in it. So you can add them both, and then all you would have to do is stir around. Because sometimes it's too much just to put, you know, the ice cube and you know grab it and stuff like that. So it's better just to have it all in one, right? I mean, so you're here to make that, or if you could make. That for me, that'd be. Oh, you're looking for a custom. Yeah, a custom piece made. Piece of glass where. Excuse me, guys. Bless you. Excuse me. A uh, custom, a custom teapot to be made. Is that? Am I yeah. Correct? With like, so like when you open it up, that's where you place the tea. But you can also open a secondary opening inside the teapot to place like sugar in it. 
I mean, we could probably put something like that together. Do you have a design already? Kind of. Or okay. Draw well, now. Give me a piece of paper because I actually don't have a design already drawn for it. <laughs> okay. Thank you. I'm gonna roughly um, sketch this. Uh, something like that probably would take a couple weeks to craft. Okay. Don't. I have a telephone scroll. Okay. Um. Bigger than that, bro. I'll pay for it no. and never come back. <laughs> <laughs> then you'll so. just have this teapot. Oh my fucking god. That looks appropriate. <laughs> just make, make it your thing. <laughs> Why Profit does it look off so this. Flaccid? Says, Yo, um, what are you drawing? Yo. Yeah, that would probably take, a, I'm thinking, around a, a couple weeks to make. Ten years at the least. <laughs> uh, once I see the design, it can give you a, a price range. This is so oh, fucking that's stupid. very inappropriate. Shut the fuck up. That looks... Yeah, I can't read this. <laughs> I don't know what this is. What is this? Shape? Is this a dick on a unicorn? Uh, what are you guys doing as, as Cosmo is standing there on a parchment trying to draw out this God, design? stop touching stuff. Huh. <laughs> um, in yeah. the um, shop, you guys do see a bunch of teapots, different cut, different, um, you know, glasses, um, so it looks like travel wear, little kitch like kitchenette sit. Grodd is sets. very anxious knowing that he is a big animal is there a big and mug? there is a lot to there's, destroy. There's a couple big different steins in here. I'll, I'll find like a good size one where Grodd can hopefully comfortably hold with his Um, there's one that looks like it was made for like an, uh, like an ogre or, you know, size type That'll hand. Work, yeah. Um, and the gentleman goes, oh, you, you like that stein? Yeah, I was thinking about getting one of these. He said that one is uh, five silver. Five silver? Sold. So you want me to wrap that up for you? Nah, that's all right. He's my, it's for my grill. He's, he's got a bag. All right, so he kind of slides over to you. Yeah, I, I attempt to slowly and silver. cautiously walk out the door. <laughs> okay. Without uh, breaking. Val is just going to be kind of outside, a little bit bored, so she's going to be playing with like, her fan outside and kind of like... Move it around and see if it catches anybody's eye to think that she's Kinda. a street performer. She thinks she can It was rough. Gold. Me Quickly being a gorilla, sketched. I interest I instantly get excited. I'm like, ooh. <laughs> Quickly sketch. I just She's kind of just playing with that. Yeah, fan. I mean I, I could probably put something like this. What did you want this made out of? <laughs> uh just porcelain. So like look like a regular teapot? Yeah, just regular teapot. <laughs> Probably take about a couple of weeks. Probably run you about. I know I have myself. Thirty-five gold. Oh, that's. Alright. Thirty-five. <laughs> and uh, what's your name? Cosmo. Cosmo. My name's Gerald. Nice to meet uh, you, Gerald. Takes the money from you, so. It's a Come back in a couple weeks and we'll yeah. have this ready for you. And then anything kind of what you want it to look like, kind of design, you want anything on? I mean, just what color you want it? Oh, red, I guess. Just a plain red. Red, yep, red teapot that looks like that. Okay. Thank you, or uh, in halfling, I'll say thank you. You speak halfling? Yeah. I speak <laughs> a lot of languages. No, I was going to look at Grodd and be like, look. Want to see something cool? She's gonna pull out her handkerchief that it's, it has like it's really fancy schmancy, but it has the initials on like some wizard's initials on there. She's gonna. He gives her a receipt that says paid. He says just hang on to this, bring this back in She's just a couple weeks, and we'll have this ready for you. Okay, cool. I'll definitely be there. So write down that you have a ticket for. <laughs> She's just gonna do a bunch of like magic tricks and board. Porcelain teapot. <laughs> Grog, we're a set, roll a serotonin check. <laughs> roll a serotonin check. It's fucking 20, dog. Um, so this takes a little bit. You guys are noticing the sun is starting to set. Okay. Mm, you guys want to try and go to Pirate's Cove, or do you want to go on the... Well, I feel like Pirate's Cove would be busy at night. Do you guys want to just head over there? Does anybody need to take a nap? No, I'm good. It's about 100 miles. Cool. 100 miles, that, that's gonna take a minute. Yo, I bet it's you need a banana rate in... <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're gonna start heading to Pirates Cove. Okay, so you guys are just gonna, um, and you got, uh, Elspeth's got her horse, you got your horse, what are you, are you guys just walking? Or do you guys horses, want to who has what? Somebody can sit on my horse. No, uh, I, I, I can ride on grass. Yeah, so. I, I assumed I would vehicle for... I have an extra, I have a horse that someone needs, and a camel. 
But so. did you bring them with you? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah, I've just been like <laughs> carrying them along with me. Do you yeah. have a ho who? How are you guys? So everybody's on horse. Everyone has a horse. Cosmo's probably gonna ride. Have to ride on now. Uh, one of your horses. No, I could just polymorph. I'll just polymorph. You wanna, well, you don't want to save your polymorph. I'm not gonna get mine. No, they. No, they re. They recharge after. Yeah, but you're gonna get tired if you polymorph into yeah, a bird and you're you using your them. arms all that time. Get tired. Okay. All right. Okay, so you're flying as a what? Uh, oh, I. Yeah, sure. I'll just fly. Are uh, you flying or are you going? Uh, to no, 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 I'll just, well, I'll just fly. I'll just fly. Uh, I'll just go into an owl, I guess. Regular owl. Yeah. Okay, so you're an owl. You transform to an owl. You got horse, horse and camel, and. No, he's riding me. Pause. Okay, so he's on Lancelot and Well, I mean, either way, I have to stay with Grodd, so I can't, like, yeah. leave him. Yeah, so he's just gonna walk behind with the camel. Okay, so you guys are just going at kind of a slow pace. He's riding yeah. me. Okay, so um, you guys are going to start heading out towards, uh, the, air tr towards the direction of Pirate's Cove. Yep. Out of Port City. Yep. Okay. So you guys start to travel, and sure enough, the sun is going down. You guys start to make it into the more um, kind of jungly, tropical-ish more area where there's not. Once you leave the town, it's just kind of open land, um, as far as it as foresty, tropical kind of terrain. Um, so you guys are traveling. How long are you guys going to? Are you going to ride all through the night? What are you guys doing? I say we should take a break halfway, and then we should go. On the, uh, we should. We can literally on. stop by Garhan, which is literally at the like middle point of Port City and Pirates Cove, and just camp there or find somewhere to sleep there. So you won't get to Garhan. It's already sundown, so you probably to get to Garhan is the halfway. That's going to be about fifty miles. That's fine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I said we do that. Get at least halfway there, and then continue in the morning. Yeah, I agree. Okay. okay. Cool. We're gonna go to Garhan then. Okay, so that's gonna take you guys about four and a half to five hours to get there. Okay. Um, so we'll say sundown. You guys are gonna get there about eleven thirty at night. Okay. Um, you guys arrive at the small town. Of, I believe it's a town, small town of Garhan. Yep. Okay. Um, I'll immediate. I'll. Can I make a perception check to see if there's a tavern? Yeah. Same. Uh, yeah. Twenty. Um, Not twenty. Yep. You don't see a tavern. Oh shit. Okay. Uh, what do we see? Um, this is just a very small town. Um, it looks like they have a, a very small. Uh, maybe it's a general store. It looks like. Um, there's a very two horse style stable. Um, it looks like there's a very small barn and farmhand where they have a small garden and vegetables. Uh, but very small, a lot of little huts, people like houses, it looks like. And probably not too many um, <laughs> stores, <laughs> per se, but you can go talk to some of the townspeople and, and ask around if you want. Or okay. we can sleep in the barn. Probably just going to pitch my tent outside. Yeah, rather than just take a nap outside then. Uh, well, uh, Val's going to look to everybody. I'm going to go to the market or the little store that they got here. Anybody want any food? It might be closed. Liquid. Nothing. Might be closed because it's eleven thirty at night. Might be. Uh, okay. Well, Val's gonna go over there and just see. Well, uh, yeah, you get camp. up to the door and there, the door is closed. All lights are out. The whole town Fuck. is pretty quiet. Fuck. Okay. Trying to make it loud. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, she's just gonna go back then and just start setting up camp with everybody. Okay. So you guys camping outside of the town? You're going in town and camping by someone's building, or what are you? No, gonna I was do? gonna pitch it like just outside of town. Yeah. yeah okay. The same. It was like right outside the welcome center. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. Okay, like, and um, so I'm not in the way, but I'm like. Yeah. So yeah, you got when you guys get there, it's eleven thirty. By the time you guys um, set up tents and things of that nature, um, it's probably about twelve thirty before you lay down at night. Mm -hmm. And uh, who will be taking first watch? I, I will. I guess. Okay. Well. Yeah. Is that, are you just doing one watch? Are you guys taking other watches? I'll, I'll what are you guys go, doing? <laughs> yeah, I'll go next to you, Grudge, sure. or who else? Well, I, I could take third, and then Elspeth could take fourth, or whatever. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I get to sleep the whole time. Man. Yeah. <laughs> okay. okay. Uh, Jake, roll a perception check for during your watch. 
Do I have to roll a nightmare check? Not 20. Plus the bonuses would be 25. Okay, so yeah, during your watch you don't see or hear anything um, going on, pretty quiet. Um, and who is taking second watch? Me. Alicia, roll perception check. Okay, and that's under where it uh, Wisdom. Wisdom? Oh, shit. Oh, let's see. My yes, wisdom. wisdom. I was right. Oh, shit. Nope, I don't got nothing. Okay, so ten. Ten. Okay, so um, from what you tell, it looks, you know, pretty quiet. Um, you're looking around. You're sitting there in the camp, and as you um, are sitting there kind of humming to yourself, meddling around with your leer, all of a sudden an arrow comes shooting at you and hits the tree right next to you. What the fuck? And she's gonna go quickly invisible with her cloak and cast that. Okay. Uh, and then she's gonna like sneak back to the rest of them. Just kind of like start poking at their tents, like knocking a little bit. What um, as you start um, crawling over, you see, uh, you start to hear some rustling. No, it sounds like in the trees around your guys' camp area. area. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, we're stuck against the tree. Uh, yeah, she's gonna start waking guys up quietly. She's gonna kind of just be like, shh, shh. Just okay, start waking up. people up. I'll get up. She's gonna like hold the arrow. Uh, like, everyone that has waking up roll perception checks. Uh, Salzberg so got <laughs> a 24. 27. 24 with bonuses. Cool. 15 for me. We're getting shot at. <laughs> Dave, you shot. see um, off to your right, it looks like there's two figures kind of spread out, oh, kind of hiding behind trees, and then it looks like off to your left, it looks like there might be two more there, and then maybe one dead center in front of you. Um, Ryan, you also see the two off to the sides. Okay. Uh, We're getting uh, shot at. They shot me. You are hearing lots of movement. Right. It's, it's agitating you. Like You definitely feel like you're surrounded or there's predators nearby. Yep. Um, everyone mm. is going to wake up. Mm. Um, we are going to roll initiative, guys. Shit. Woo! First time. I don't know what my initiative bonus is. Mm. Where is yeah, it? Yeah, where do you look for initiative bonus? So, it should be your... Uh, Found it. it. It's uh, where all the stats are. It's um, right next to armor class on the left. Okay. I got 11. Eleven. Um, oh well, let me do this. Everyone roll your. Everyone rolled your dice already. Yes. Yep. So first, um, thirty through twenty-five. Twenty-five. I don't think you have it. Twenty-five through twenty. Twenty-five through twenty. Initiation. Mm-mm. Alright. Okay. Uh, twenty through fifteen. I got eleven. I got fifteen. No, wait, actually, yeah, I also got fifteen. Right, you got fifteen. Yeah. And um, 15 to 10. 10 to 5. 9. For Elsbeth. Elsbeth. Cosmo, you will be first to act. How far away are they? Yeah, how far away? From. Uh, each space is 5 feet. So, from where I'm. I'm have to be the person who moves the stuff, Jake. Oh, I'll do it. I can do it. So, from where I'm at, where, wh- wh- whom, who is the closest person to us? Or to me, at least. Should have just had Jake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but he can't monitor these. Okay, so, uh, I, I'm assuming this is where you guys are fine with where your people were sleeping? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so, what do you want? Well, you can stand up and look. It's, okay. I mean, it's from- five feet. Okay. So you can move 30 feet? Is that your... Yeah. Um, so I what I will do is... 5, 10... Can someone let me know how far it is? Uh, f- the closest person to you? Yeah. Well, just their general distance. I need to know for a spell. They're about 20 feet. The closest one to you is about 20 feet. Yeah. Uh, yeah. This There's one to me is 15 like feet. Like okay, range. so... I'm going to turn around, and would I be able to see the guy that's right, that's right yeah. there? Okay, so I'm going to turn around, and 
Uh, I'm going to pull out my hand crossbow of lightning. Okay. And uh, take a shot at him. See if I can... Okay, pull. hold it. Does a 19 hit? That hits. Okay. And one, that's it. And that's uh, seven, seven damage. Seven points of lightning damage. Um, can you just grab me a scratch sheet real quick? I think I have one over there. Right. Seven points? Yeah, seven points of damage. Okay. And I have a movement and an action. Wait, was my action pull- my action was pulling out the hand crossbow, right? Yep. Okay, so I have You still have your movement and your bonus action. So for my movement, I'm going to- oh wait, for my movement, I will- You know what, I'll just hold my movement, I'll stay where I'm at. Okay, anything for a bonus action? Um, no, I'll hold my ax- my action. Do you want to, um, move the pieces for me? So I can monitor them out. Okay. Alright. Okay. And next is Theo. So you got two guys that are about 20 feet, but if you wanted to do a longer range one, you definitely have some longer range people away from you that you can see. Okay. Um, can you do two concentration spells at once or no? No, only one. Then I'm going to cast Levitate on the one in front to throw him into the one directly behind him. Okay, and does he have to make uh, a, like a, a constitution wish? saving throw? He makes the constitution saving yes. throw? Yes. This is quite nice. 17. He has to be my spell save, do you see? Uh, yeah. Okay. Unless it says in the spell specifically a number, but otherwise it's your spell safety. So. Yeah, okay, that can be it. Okay, so he made that. Um, much else I can do. Uh, I guess I'll hold my actions for now. And, and your movement? And your movement? Yeah, well, I'm a wizard of weapon. Trying to get closer to that. Oh, okay, so. yeah, true. Okay. So uh, next up is them. So I don't need. I, I just need to do a quick look. Okay. So all of the outside guys are gonna start, um, except for the guys with the two arrows, are gonna start moving in thirty feet. So these. And then the two guys with the arrows are gonna take shots. So everybody outside, move them in thirty feet, and the two guys with the arrows are gonna take shots. One is going to be at you, Cosmo. The other one is going to be at no, Elspeth. I hit mad hard. So, like, and plus, like, I got, like, five conditions. They miss Elspeth. Grodd, does an 18 hit you? Uh, Armor probably. class? Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> right, so 30 feet, feet damage, like right? closer to us. You take uh, one point of uh, piercing damage from an arrow shot at you. Okay. Ooh, never mind. I was wrong. I do not have 30 something hit points. I now have 18. <laughs> um, okay, everybody got up closer. So the one at you, Cosmo, is going to go ahead and take a swing. Okay. Two, he missed. Yeah, anybody terribly. else, did any of them else get into melee? Other than the bone arrow guys, another one did. He's gonna take a hit at Elspeth. That was kind of ten. Invisible that's a too. miss. And I just moved him that's all the other ones in melee. Okay, that is their turn. Next is Val. Uh, she, cause she is still invisible. Yeah. Um, she has her mom's dagger that's on her right now. Under her cloak, she's gonna try and. Is it like when she like does she has to cast a flame on it or? When she wields it, does the flame? Oh, she, uh, she has to invoke it. Okay, but it's just a word invoking. So okay, so she's just gonna invoke the flame in her, in her cloak. Okay, for, until she sees a spark. Okay. Um, and what she's gonna do, um, while she's invisible, she's gonna take out the blade and start like causing fire to ring around them, so they can kind of ward them off and okay, see just... who they're fighting, cause they can't see shit. Okay. Um, so it, when when you get the fire close to them, you see they are um, lizard folk. 
So yeah. bipedal humanoids, lizard faces, tails, carrying you know clubs and bows and arrows and different things of that nature. Oh, um, is she within melee? Were okay. you going to attack with one of your daggers, or you're just swinging it around to try to get view? Trying to get view right now. Okay, right. and so then um, and that'll be your action. You still have your movement and a bonus action. Uh, so she is going to disguise, cast disguise self. Okay. Uh, she's gonna try and look like a lizard person. Okay. Okay. Uh, so your invisibility will fade, and you're gonna cast that spell. Yeah. Okay. So that'll be your action, bonus action, and then you have movement light if, if you want to move. Um. No, that's it. She's just gonna try and put her okay. hands up and look at all of them like in her form. Okay, Grod. Uh, is there anyone within five feet of me, Jake? Yes. Do they speak in? There's one. Or like or how many? There's one person within five feet of you. Okay. They I do not speak infernal. What about in common? Does anybody understand draconic? Wait, you guys do not know what they does. are saying then. Wait. I could have said you did. I just assumed they're talking shit and I swing at the dude that's within five feet of me. I speak okay, draconic. So you speak draconic. Okay, so you hear them be like, flank that one, get the ape, and they're like basically strategizing to attack you guys. That's uh, racist. He's a gorilla. <laughs> 19. Good I, shit! I fuck him up. Okay, yeah, hold on. I so fuck him up. <laughs> I fuck him up. You should start okay, yeah. And this is a different one than oh, uh, Jake attacked, yeah, correct? Right? Right? This is the one near Grodd? Yeah. It's a different one than you attacked. Okay, wait. So it, it's one yeah. guy. Six, no, it's the same one. I. It's the same one. Oh, okay. Oh, one. wait, no. Wait. Yeah, one die six plus three. And then it's plus five to hit. Okay. So yeah, I fucked him up. I so one eight. die six eight. plus eight. Uh, no, I rolled a five, so plus three. That's eight. Oh, they said plus five also. No, that's no, no, that rolled. was just. Oh, eight. okay. Yeah. So another eight points of damage. Yeah. Okay, that one is looking very hurt. Not con uh, not unconscious. Um, I think you get two attacks per round though, because you get. Do I? F uh, fist fist. I believe so. Yeah. Yeah. I do. Okay. Two, yeah. So yeah, yeah you can you damage. can attack again. Um. Oh, I'm nineteen. So that dude. He's looking really bad. Another, another, okay. another yeah. swing. Yeah, I just, I just go for the merc. Okay. 18. That hits. I just go for the merc. So that's five. <laughs> and that one is on the ground, be, like bleeding very bad. Not unconscious yet, though. God damn. Okay, that brings us to Elsbeth's turn, Ryan. Okie dokie. So she's going to go into Blade Song. Okay. And roll to hit. They get three and she attacks. gets three attacks per round. So. Okay. Yes. Uh, I'll just do them all at once. Okay, let me see what the bonus is. I don't think any of those are going to hit, though. And I believe she's not near you, so this is going to be someone that hasn't been hit yet, if she does. Yeah, actually, you want to know something funny? There is three people in here. Okay, so my highest one was a... 12. That does not yeah. hit. Okay, so none of them hit. Okay, so she missed. So that's her action. She still has Fuck. a bonus action and a uh, movement, if you want. Okay. Uh, bonus action. She's just gonna go hit again. Okay. Oh, she. Uh, yeah, she can do a bonus action, or she can do a cantrip spell, or up to a level two spell. Okay. Yeah. No, I think she's gonna go for a hit. For okay. Oh, much better. That's four twenty-three. That hits. Okay. What is damage? Um, I believe these are considered medium, so it should be one die ten, 10 and then whatever plus that she has on her sword. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Okay, three. Nine. Hey, that's three points of damage. That's terrible. Okay, uh, and now we are back at the order of Cosmo. Okay, so knowing um, my look, I'm just going to take a quick look and I'm going to be like, all right, he's good. So now I'm going to go to the one, I'm going to use my movement and go to the one that's next to um, Theobard. And I'm going to... Oh, that's my movement, and then for my action, I'm gonna pull out. Uh, You're going for a different one, right? Not the one that's on the ground. Yeah, different one. Okay. Um. Uh, fuck it. Uh, I'm gonna pull out my dagger of acid. Okay. And then I'm gonna take a, like, try to stab him. Okay, roll to hit. Okay. Please, good numbers. Just like this. Uh, inside. That's a natural twenty. And that definitely hits, so you're gonna roll the dice, double the dice amount, mm -hmm. and then add your pluses. 
That's 10 points of damage. And that's with your pluses and the double? Yeah. Okay. Fuck. Are they from... And um, that was... That's, uh, that was my... First attack? No, I only have one attack. Uh, that was my action. Uh, that was an action. That was a bonus. Uh, that was not a bonus action. And that was my move. That was my attack. Okay, I'm going to hold my bonus action. And what are you holding? Oh, I'm holding my dagger bastard right now. Okay, so to hit somebody when they come near you, or...? No, no, I just have it in my... So you're not holding your action, you're just not using a bonus action this yeah. round? Yeah. Okay, any movement? I already did my movement. My movement was to move okay. closer to uh, the... Theo, that brings us back to you. Yeah. So I'm going to cast Flaming Sphere and attack the one closest in front of me. Okay. Okay. Um, and that's a different one than yours, Jake, right? Yeah. Okay. And he has to make a deck save. Okay. Uh... If he makes it, he takes half damage on the fire. He rolled a six. I doubt he made it. Yeah, no, he did not make that. So he'll what take full damage. damage. Two, six. Come on. So, I know. Jesus Christ. One's great, one's... Like, I got the worst and the best. <laughs> yeah. So seven. Seven points? Yeah. And that sphere will remain there for up to one minute for me. Okay, and does any, like does he take any damage staying in it or at the beginning of the Yeah, turf? basically, yeah, it'll... E each turn, it'll I can use it to attack again. Basically, it's okay. Yeah, got it. Okay, so uh, is that the rest of your turn? Um, how close are the rest of them to me, Jake? So the one you just attacked was five feet away. There's one that is ten feet away, and one that is thirty feet away, and then there's one behind you, which is five feet away. Can you move me back five feet, and then to the left twenty? So now you just stumbled upon this, like, body. <laughs> you just see Grog going... <laughs> you remember that one scene in, uh, fucking, like, one of the first Avengers movies? Okay, where it's, like, um, fucking up Loki? Oh, yeah. Hulk. Oh, oh, yeah. The Hulk, 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 yeah. Yeah, sorry, keep man. bleeding out. Yeah, you know. Uh, Jake, you're enthralled with one. Yeah. Grog is enthralled. No, Grog is, Grog was dealing with the one on the ground. Um, Jake? Theo and Elsbeth all have people that you're enthralled with, right? Oh, oh yeah, and we also have a dim light. Okay, so the two that, the, the three that don't have anybody are going to come up and try to flank. So, or is everyone in melee? I'm in melee. Okay, so um, the two oh, arrow guys are going to shoot off arrows, one towards um, Val, one towards Elsbeth. Val looks like one of them. Yeah, but they saw you turn. Oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah, I was like, that was... Uh, does a 10 hit you? Ten? I doubt that hits yeah. your armor class. Okay, so those are the two arrows miss, and then the third one is going to attack. 13, I don't think that's going to hit. Jesus, how this works. Who? On who? Uh, which one? It'd be Elsbeth. No, I'm pretty yeah. sure her armor class is higher than 13, right? Yeah, yeah. she's got 21. Okay, so those three miss, and then we're going to do the ones that are in each battle. So Cosmo, the one that you're in melee with, is going to attack. 19. Fucking Christ. Oh, uh, 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 what, what is it called? Shit. Uh, Thaumaturgy, do Thaumaturgy Dodge. It's a, essentially like a... So half damage or you yeah. miss all of it? Ha half damage. Okay. So two points of damage to you. I'll take one. Um, the one that you were going after, Theo, seven, that's going to miss, I'm assuming. Armor class? Yeah, yeah. And then one for Elspeth, 11, that's going to miss. They miss. That's their turn. That brings us to Val. Okay. Uh, so I tried to read to see if there's anything, but when detect thoughts, if she can't speak their language, is she just gonna hear what they? Yeah, you'll hear dr yeah. draconic. Okay. Um, and then Cosmo, did you say that you knew draconic out loud? No, no, no. I didn't say knew. Just draconic. fucking attack them. Oh, Who cares what they're they saying? They could be from the fucking. They don't. They could be from the town and think that we're just invading yeah, or something. We were camping. Fuck them. They're <laughs> lizard people. <laughs> they they fucking blew their shot. This is our goddamn town now. Oh my god. Uh, okay, so she's basically. You gonna know, in the use... wild, when a wolf comes up on you, you don't fucking say, "Oh hey, what's going on?" No, you fucking bite him in the neck. <laughs> she's gonna use thunder wave, which. Let's see. I'm just gonna make sure that I have the calculations. Coming. I just checked that it's a 15 foot cube from under you, and it shoots outwards for a believe Constitution save. 
for a deck save. Cool. And then where is she at? Like, I know she was. Okay. How many people does she have around her that will have to do a save? With the, within 15 feet? 15 feet cube? Yeah, yep. I believe so. Enemies, that is. Oh, no, actually, everyone has to do Yeah, no, save that's why I didn't do mine yeah, earlier. Yeah, it's anybody. Every, every lizard and Elsbit will have to make a save. Even the ones that are hella far from her shouldn't. It's only 15 feet, three spaces. Yeah. Oh, oh shit, I'm a retard. Yeah, Would you think 50? Feet cube. 15 foot cube. Would you think 50? No, no, 15, yeah, 15. So three by three by three by three. Yeah, Elsbet and three lizard people will have to make a... Okay, so make an Elsbet. It's a constitution save or dex? Uh, yes, constitution saving throw. And what is your spell? Uh, it's uh, Thunder oh, Wave. No, your spell save DC. Spell that's save? on your... That's on your... Uh, no, Elspeth made no, a 16. No. Other okay, paper. where? Other paper. God. Where? Spell save. 16. <laughs> okay, so, um, that okay. is your, so she saved, one saved, two saved, only one failed. Okay. So she's gonna... So what it happens when they fail? Uh, so on a failed save, a creature takes two die eight thunder damage and is pushed ten feet away from you. So you gotta roll your damage up. and... Oh! Yeah. On a successful save, the creature takes it's half, half yeah. as much damage okay, as Okay, so roll pushed. your damage. So yeah. it's two die eight. Roll two die eight. Mm. They look like... Mm. One of them's gonna this. take like full and the other two take uh. half. Uh, so does, does that make it for else better? No. She made it, yeah, she okay. made it, so she only takes half. Um, gotcha. 10, 11. 11. 11 points of damage. Yep. Jesus. And then one gets and then pushed. the other one uh, will get six. Wait, is it? The other two get six points of damage. Was it five feet or ten feet? Ten feet. Ten feet, okay. All right, might I suggest no more friendly fire? Because that's actually a lot for Elspeth. Where's she at now? Almost. She's at half. Fuck. Basically, or close to it. Okay, and it looks like it emits a thunderous boom audible out to 300 feet. Not <laughs> me and Grod mid battle. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, yeah, they took their damage. Okay, now is uh, Grod. Um, Speaking of. Is that dude just still on the ground? Yep. Yeah. Is there anyone else out. near me? Uh, Theobard is. Um, you can move, use your movement to go up to another creature to fight. Yeah, but. Are we, are we keeping one? Just in case, or is it? There's just... one already bleeding out, so yeah, we'll leave that one. I'm, I'm in the back. So, I'll, I'll so, take so, care of this one. Okay, so how far can you move? I, I can move 30 down. feet. Okay. Um, how close is like? What's the closest one next to me? Uh, the closest one to you, besides the one that's on the ground, would be the Maybe one I'm out. One I'm at, which is uh, five, ten. We could kind of zigzag. You could Which take is Cosmos, and Cosmo can move forward on his next turn to the next one. We could start advancing. Yeah. And I'm so, in the back since I'm the wizard and yeah. keep an eye on, so, the, on the ground. The closest one to you is 20 feet. Okay, yeah, I'll do that. I'll okay. move. I'll move to him. Question. Right. Five, um, ten. If I have Wait. a concentration spell going, can I still use a scroll? Yes. It doesn't affect Sorry, you. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, yeah. cool. 15 feet? You. Yeah, 15 feet. Okay, yeah, so I'm going to go to him. I have the okay, and you're going to attack him? Yeah. Okay, so roll to hit, and you get two attacks. One for each fist. 18, 18. plus 5. So That's going to hit. And then... So roll, roll that one, because you can roll do at the same time. Yeah, you can roll both hits. 12 plus 5. 17. Seven. Yeah, 17. That hits. Okay. First attack is 9. And he's oh. doing the one at you, Jake? Uh, the one... No, no, yeah, the one that's uh, that I was attacking. Okay, so minus nine. That yeah. one is out down on the floor. He's starting okay. to bleed out. And the second attack was fucking four. <laughs> that one's dead. Right. Oh, dead. Okay, oh. so <laughs> this one. one. That one is down. Nice. Okay. We're advancing. Okay. Don't fall well, back. We're how winning. Many, how many are left? Uh, there Six. are. One's yeah. on the floor bleeding out, though. Two, so five. Three, four. Up, five. One on the floor bleeding out. Get him Where's the pack. one bleeding out? <laughs> is he near me? I just want to fucking yeah. yeah, uh, yeah, he is, one, two, three, he is 30 feet away from you. Wait, no. What? 15, sorry, 15. Okay. I said three, and then I was like 30, so. Okay. We should call ourselves the wolf. Okay, Ooh, that geez. was, uh, Grod, it's Elspeth. Okay. Um, let's see. Uh, she's going to cast Magic Missile. Okay, that automatically hits, oh, so you right. just roll the yeah. damage for it. No. It should be, um, I believe, a die. It's a die four plus your level, so. Forever, yeah. 
So what level four? How so long, how long was the ribbon? Twenty feet. Thirty feet. Uh, I think it's fifty feet. Fifty, 50 feet. feet. Yeah. Okay. You know about the magic ribbon that you got from Lily? Fifty feet. Thanks. Okay. Ten. Ten. That is going to kill another one. So one more is down. And that counts as an action, right? That's an action, yeah. Okay. So she sells a bonus and a movement. And then, um, is that one that was in front of her still alive? Yeah. Okay. yeah, that one's still alive. And then, okay, so she will begin to attack with a sword on Okay. Him. And um, she'll, because she already used her, her main action, she only gets one, one attack yeah. on her bonus. Ooh. Okay. Eight. That will miss. Gotcha, okay. Okay. And um, that brings us back to the top, Cosmo. Okay, perfect, perfect. Well, I just got a top count. So we got two dead, one bleeding out, one, two, three. Okay. Leave the one bleeding out. Four that are still going. So, wait. I'm not a healer. Shit. None of us are. Okay, I got potions. So one more oh, elf that is dead. Oh, she has one that's here as well. Val has a little bit of two. Okay. So, a few by her, right? Yeah. So one is dead. Yeah. So I'm going to. Um, I'm gonna only use my movement uh, and go up yeah. 20 feet and go behind one to see if I can get a sneak attack off. He sees you, so it will Shit. not count a sneak attack. However, you do get advantage if you flank with a, 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 a ally of yours. Wait, don't you have this? That only goes up to 30 feet. Oh, you can still pop, pop, pop. No, it counts as an action if I do that. Mm. So, and I only have one. I have. Two actions essentially. If it counts as a bonus action. A oh, bonus action, yeah, yeah. What she said. Okay. Well, um, are you flanking with anybody? Because you will get advantage. Uh, am I over there? You are fifteen feet away. Elizabeth uh, is uh, also within five feet. Yeah. Okay. So, so you're your regular. Yeah. So then I will then take my uh, I'll take out my da or no, I have my dagger vested in there. In my hand. So then I will take a yep. stab. So. Roll the hit. Uh, 17. That's going to hit. Okay. Uh, it's uh, five points of acid damage. And I'm going to hold my bonus Another action. Another five points? Yeah. Okay. And I'll hold my bonus action. Okay. And that is now Theo. Okay, so... I'm going to use my regular action to attack again with the staff. Okay. Which, or he has to make a... Wait, you're attacking the one on the ground? No, that's... no, the other one I was attacking. Oh, yeah. gotcha. Uh, gotcha. Okay, save, deck save. Deck save. For half damage. He rolled a nine. Does not a make it, so it gets full damage, which is, ooh, nice. Eleven. And then for my bonus action, I'm going to cast my scroll of hold person on the one that's on the ground next to me. Okay, so we have two on the ground, two dead, three pretty good. Okay. Uh, that brings us to their turn. The three pretty good ones should be the arrow guys, so they're going to each take their shots. Those are both misses. So the third guy's going to lunge. Also a fucking miss, <laughs> and the guys on the ground are just going to try to stabilize. So that is it for their turn. Uh, Val. Uh, so I don't know. She doesn't know what this is going to do, but she has a witch bolt scroll. Okay. Nice. Does she, like, how does she? She's going to read, read, read it. it. Read yes, it? Okay, yes, she's going to open it, it and at she's them. Just, <laughs> she's yeah. going to read it and, like, look at the nearest. Who's the one next them. to her? Uh, the closest. She has one that's pretty good next to her still. She's going to look at him and she's going to yeah. read it. Okay. And she's just going to, like, send it out. Um, I don't think you rolled a hit with that. I think it automatically. Yeah. Oh, no. Do you roll a hit? No, scrolls automatically hit. If there's a witch bolt spell, it's the same as the spell. There's a witch bolt spell, it's the same as the spell. Yeah, this I is think just something you might she with that one. I yeah, this, roll yeah, I made this. It was one of the scrolls I gave you guys. Cool. It is. <laughs> it's her first time using one of these, so she's just like, "Oh fuck!" <laughs> I believe you rolled a hit with this one. Okay. And then if it hits, you keep the witch bolt there, and you can just inflict damage next time. You don't actually have to roll Wait, a hit, fuck, which is what's cool about the witch bolt. Okay. Hmm. Kind of shortly. Just to roll a hit. Your spell. So you would roll plus add your spell attack bonus. Which is on the other page. Yeah, you rolled a hit. Yeah. 
you. Cool. 18. That definitely hits. And it's a 1 die 12. So now you roll your 1 die 12 damage. Which that is... It looks like... Looks like this. 10. 10 points of damage. Yep. He is looking very bad. Okay, Alicia, the way this works now, you can choose to keep holding the Witch Bolt, and on your next turn, you just inflict that damage again. Yeah, or if you minute. drop it, it's gone. And gone. you don't inflict the damage anymore. Yeah, you can basically... And once I use the scroll, it's, it's done, right? It's still it's holding, gone. though. The Witch Bolt still holds until you're done with the spell. Yeah, it's like my Flaming Spear. I can keep it Do up I for get up to, to like, one minute. You can no, keep I mean, like, for... once she's done with it, does it... No, the yeah, scroll is done. Okay. But the Witch Bolt itself is still there holding. So if you continue to hold on to it, okay. you can just inflict damage. You don't have to roll to hit next time on the so same you creature. Think of, like, a gun. You can keep shooting it off each yeah. turn. Yeah. So okay. next thing, you can just shoot off the five damage again on your next turn. Okay. Okay? Okay, so that... That's one. That's action. your action. You still have your movement and your bonus. Bonus movement, right? Bonus action. Bonus so action. you have a movement and a bonus action left. Who else is near her? Uh, okay. You should so. only have the one near you and the two on the ground by you, I would think. Okay. Yeah. Well, sh can she, as a bonus action, just try to kill the guy that she already shot? You can't. Or is he already dead? You can't uh, attack on a bonus action. No, you know, Wait. you can only do like a cantrip spell or yeah. like pull something out. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Throw something at them, something like that. That'd be a funny way to kind of like, use all this magic and shit, and then the way you murder them, you pick up a rock and I fucking just start chucking rocks at them. Um, they're really cool. Pick up okay. well, I could probably pick up them. You you keep your movement. Hold, hold your movement. movement. She's gonna go towards <laughs> the guy that's bleeding out. Okay, towards the guy that's bleeding out. There's um, two on the ground, and, and the one in front of you that you're holding the witch foot on is looking pretty bad. Right? To the so, uh, the one, the one that. That's bleeding on the ground uh, is one, two, uh, ten feet away from you. Okay, she's gonna go towards him and and uh, try to pull out her ribbon, and she wants to try and tie him up. Okay, so she'll be able to get her ribbon out with her bonus action, but you have to tie him on your next turn. Okay. Okay. Cool. Uh, Val, uh, Grod, that's you. Uh, all right, Jay. What? What? what you we're guys got like? the two bow and arrow guys that are not hurt at all, and you might have to start making your way to them to get. To okay. Them. So. Which one's closer, Jay? Uh, the closest one to you is the one I am fighting, which is uh, ten feet away. I, I go for I go for them. Okay. All right. Um, me, me, and Grob be taking out the people, fam. Ten plus so fifteen. That just hits. Shit. Uh, five to eight. <laughs> Uh, uh you, it shouldn't be a dice. He's still only dice six? Yeah, it's dice oh, six okay. plus three. So, um, okay, so that was one of the archers? Uh, no, that was the one I was attacking. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm just making my way forward. That should, okay, so that, so that's gonna take out that one. It's not one of the archers. No. Okay, so there's another one dead then. Okay. Okay, cool. Um. You can pull all the dead ones off the map. And then, uh, yeah, there's three dead. And then is two there on the floor bleeding? Is there another one? No, only one on the floor bleeding. Is no, there, there's two. Jake, is there one person within five feet of me? That's going to die on the next turn, probably. If she okay. The um, do damage. you have two movements? No, but I have two attacks. The but if he didn't use his full movement, he still has the rest of his. Movement. Oh yeah, you yeah you can definitely move to the next one, which is only five feet away. Well. Okay, wait. So feet. if I can move, I can move up to thirty feet. Up so to I can move to you him. Can split yeah. it up. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I do that, and then since I have another attack, I'm able to attack. Do your second yeah. attack on that. Okay. Good shit. Good shit. Which is, is this one of the archers or one of the? No, this is the uh, one uh, that she's holding the witch bolt on. Oh, okay. What was it? Uh, twenty. Because twenty to hit. Dirty twenty. Yeah. Dirty twenty. Dirty 20. 20. Oh, oh dirty twenty. Okay, so yeah, that that's gonna hit even if uh, and just roll your damage. Ace. He's Eight. done. He's dead. Okay. Is that the one that Val was going towards? Uh, that was a so no. Two left, right? There's yes. three left, two okay. archers, and one on the floor bleeding out. I just got a fucking out. triple yeah. kill. Okay, yeah. she's going towards one that's bleeding out. Yeah. Um, Holy well, shit, I did it. Yeah, I know. She's going yeah. to yeah. have to yeah. um, It's Elsbeth now. Yeah. Elsbeth. And there's okay, the so two archers. Can you send Elsbeth towards the... Archer? Yeah, the archer. Uh, five, ten. She'll... She's five feet away from it. Uh, and she's going to do her triple attack. Okay. okay. Get fucked, get fucked, get fucked. <sighs> Fucking Jesus. <Christ. laughs> weed, okay, weed, so weed. the highest one was a 13. That does not hit. Fucking goddamn it. Shit. 15 and higher. Uh, okay. She still has a uh, bonus, bonus like, action. Do a or something. <laughs> Run and hide. Is there anyone, any uh, of my teammates within 15 feet?
Uh, are they out of the Frank game? is. Or Grot is. Fuck, okay, can't do that. Um, Wait. Yeah, Grot is. Uh, He's the only one. And I'm only in Keep that in mind. Fucking... Magic Missile's a bitch. Okay. Oh, not again. Yeah. When in doubt. When in doubt. And this is at one of the archers, correct? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, when in doubt, magic the bitch out. Ooh, good numbers. Five, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Nice. Does that, that one is looking very bad on okay. the ground. Hell yeah. Gotcha. Oh, on the ground? Hell yeah. Yeah, he's like bleeding. He's not dead, not unconscious, but yeah. on the ground. I'll, I'll put a bent over in pain. Right okay. Um, that brings us back to Cosmo. Okay, um, so I'm gonna... Uh, wait, hold on, I gotta turn this up. One, two, I better get to me. Like extra Ten, bananas for five, this shit. Six, we gotta buy you some armor. And, then, yeah. <laughs> and, I, and a club. Yeah, mind y'all, I did this eight, all in a Sunday. Wait, <laughs> you want a club or an axe? Wait, I so I if I wanted to, I think a club would be if I double dash, is that that's, it? that's your movement and your action. You Perfect. Have bonus action yeah. left. Okay, and an attack because I would have an yeah. attack. That's your action is an attack. If oh, shit. Um, I also wanted to say... Yeah, I was thinking, because I wanted, like, a weird outfit. I was like, the same But your blink like, ring is bonus action. So you can use your blink like, ring to do 30 full feet, full then use oh, your movement, and then still have your action. <laughs> Could I do that? Okay. So then that would move me 60 feet. Yeah, 60 feet. So... Without penalizing you on moving. Fuck yeah, okay. So I'm right there. I'm gonna take my dagger of ass and say fuck you. Okay, and is this an archer? Yeah, this is okay. the last archer. The other one, okay. Yeah. And well, the other one's not dead, he's just. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. And um, I'm gonna take a swing. Okay. Be with my dagger of ass. And, and that's a net 20. That definitely hits a so double fuck damage. Yeah. Oh shit, that one doesn't count. It'll be like up. And that's full that's points. That's 10 points of acid damage. Okay, he's looking pretty bad too. Okay. And then that brings us to Theo. Um, you got three, so two kind of on the floor, hunched over in pain. One is, he's still up, but getting ready to pull arrows, but he's he's hurt really bad. Um, Just I guess I'm yeah, gonna I'm gonna do magic one. missile at that one. Okay. That way I'll get that auto hit. And that should. <sighs> Will you take him out? Let's see, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. He's dead. He's dead? He's dead. Okay. So there's two bleeding out on the ground, very low hit points, but still alive. Okay. Uh, Val, that is uh, your turn, and you have reached the guy. You have your rope out. Did you want to start to tie him up? Yeah. Okay. So we got one being tied up. And she's going to try and tie him to, like, the nearest tree. Okay. And he won't struggle while you're tying him because I have him in a whole person too. Um, so Val's got one that she's tying to a tree. Grod, it is your turn. There's Finish still one the on the floor. One. Yeah, I'm just going. How far is the last guy? Uh, uh, right. fifteen feet. Uh, yeah, 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 not just okay. Knock him. him out. Yeah, that yeah, bitch. It's okay. You got two attacks. Right. Yeah. Okay, so first attack, uh, I rolled a, a solid nine. Yeah, that's the best. I, I. Come on. So it's oh, actually, one. he's really hurt though. You get advantage. So, so roll that again. That one again. didn't count. Let's see which one's higher. Okay, so nine. Nine. okay, so you didn't hit your first attack. You uh, get another right. attack. My though. second attack. And you get a vanish. A, a solid. <laughs> wait, you get a vanish. That's a six. So I rolled well, a solid eleven. No, you you, you get a vanish. So roll again. one more time. There you go. Okay, that yeah, is. I got a twenty-one. That hits. <laughs> Dirty. Mine's <laughs> twenty-one. That's gonna be a hard two. <laughs> uh, six. He's dead. Okay. So you got Woo! one I do a tree, the rest are dead. I got a four right. kill streak. Since you speak draconic, we'll have you question him. Oh. Uh. Um, just asking what the fuck. What the fuck? What the <laughs> fuck, bro? <laughs> okay, so uh, you guys have tied a tree. He's he's very hurt. He's kind of like, like there's, what? And he, and it's like, what? What do you want? What? What do you want? They're like, hold on. God, uh. If you want to stand there and like get all just like, oh. don't hit him, but just get all angry and scare the fuck okay. out of him. Now I was gonna start like looting the other dead bodies, by the way. Okay, um, uh, roll investigation check. Uh, so I'm gonna talk to the guy at the I tree. Draw this bigger. Uh, you know what? I'll set it up right here 16. too. 
16? 16. Okay. I'll, I'll just start bringing all the bodies towards Val. Okay, and they'll <laughs> Make both, it easier uh, have Val start rolling yeah, an investigation check as well. I'm gonna, I'm gonna scene this out just so everyone can see. Not that it matters. There is now four guys looking at this dude. Okay. And I'll be like, so why did you attack us? So was you're in our territory. I told you. <laughs> this is I told you. Anymore. <laughs> oh, God. We're just protecting our land. God damn it, yeah, we killed the military. What? We were sleeping. Hold on. Oh, God. Well, you could have at least given us, like, a warning. And, and take said, what we want. Oh, okay, well, we're out. And take you know, what? And look what survive. happened. You got and guess Yeah, and guess what fucking happened? You, got you guys took. just lost. You guys got your asses eaten. Pause. You know. <laughs> 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 I'm glad none of us picked the corner. Day of the wolf pack. <laughs> I, I, I walked up to I don't recall that happening, but oh, okay. it's about to. No, it's about to. I walked up to him. Oh my god, what is going on? <laughs> this is how we torture man. So I'm I walk saying, up to him I'm and so like, glad we He's spread. like on the ground, right? I'm yeah, so glad we don't speak to him. He's tied to a tree? Yeah. Okay, so like, I'm just like kind of resting on his forehead and slowly like putting my hand on <laughs> Don't do that. Not, not entirely, I'm just like... <laughs> Okay. <laughs> that would have broke. That, that shit hurt, huh? He only yeah. has two hit points. Elsbet and Val. Yeah, damn. <laughs> Elsbet and Val got points. 15 and 16, too, on dead bodies. Okay. Um, uh, so we'll go after all this. Are you guys done questioning him? I want to I wanna, I wanna, uh, wanna ask one question. Uh, I, I figured that was the only one around here. Yeah, is there any more? Is is there any more people? Is that yes, millions. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> millions, huh? Yeah. Okay, well, guess what? They're probably going to fucking die. Val's just going to be like, tell them we're fucking leaving. Um, we're respectfully leaving. Respectfully? Okay. Yeah. Another way to put it, go fuck yourself. <laughs> and then, can I, can I, can I, can I do the thing? Yeah. Justice. <laughs> do the thing. Uh, all right, all right, yeah, so I, tell your people. Uh, God, do the thing. Uh, uh, okay, so do, do be, because I am gorilla, I, I just like give him one like. You just got yeah. Tell your people against and fucking the tree. Kill them. So, you get advantage. You fucking kill him. Good thing you got advantage. <laughs> How do you use this? Okay, that, that one's one, no on the table. That was a special. That's roll. what the dice shows for, but it's filled with dice. Okay, so I rolled a solid ten. That's gonna hit. Okay. You just had to roll over a one. Okay. Well, nope, uh, fucking he's fucking dead. dead. His neck <laughs> collapsed. Oh, it was very Yeah, brutal. Okay. And tell your people. Val and Elizabeth, Elizabeth are searching the bodies. Um, you find a total of 35 gold okay. between 35. all the bodies. Okay. You find three diff- separate daggers on different bodies. Okay. Two spears. Okay. Um... The archers each have a uh, bow and, you know, quiver set on them. Okay. Um, looks like each of them have uh, roughly, like, five to six arrows in their quivers. Okay, how many were there? There was two archers. Two archers, okay, yeah. so that's, like, uh, ten... Yeah. yeah. And then on one of the um, lizard folks, he's dressed a little bit slightly, like, more clothed than the rest of them in robes. Um, you find uh, two small pouches and a small vial. Okay. Take the small vial. Take the wizard. I'm taking everything. Okay. No, I'm telling you. Take two. Two, I like, I hope this looks like two vials? Vial. No. One vial, small. two small pouches. Okay. Bet. All right. Looted them. Uh, got it. Yep. Uh, I was going to say, all right, I got, I got the shit from them. Let's go. I don't want to run into that anymore. All right, well, his neck's broken, so we just kind of... Uh, have you guys heard your capsite? It's the middle of the night. This was called uh, your ship, Val. Yeah. So what are you guys... So the next ship, you run into a dragon. So yeah, are you guys going to continue your... <laughs> yeah, sh- we're going to have to. Out. We cleared the way. Why don't we just finish... Yeah, why don't we just... Then... Why don't we just go? Because what if more come? And we'll kill them, Then we'll fuck him up. All right, you, you guys stay here. Up. Val's going to pack her shit and start them. leaving. Yeah, I'm going to start unpacking the tent, and I... We should just start leaving, and you know they. Yeah, Val's gonna start packing so shit and leaving. Find. Y'all could cap if it's you want. So... I mean, it's easy to find, but it's pricey. Just so you know, your long rest has been interrupted. If you yeah, that's why I'm saying your rest, you rested. will be on a point of exhaustion. Out of spells now. Oh, I need to heal. We're tired. Yeah, yeah but true. we're like right next to a village. If they start to notice that their guys didn't come back, what if they just start sending more? How do we know the they're village? from that village? It's no point. We're not gonna rest anyway. No, we should rest, or else we're gonna be 
at a one point of exhaustion, which if we get into battle, we only That's even worse. Speed. That's when you start rolling with disadvantage. Can we at least try to get into no, we, a we little should, bit no. more miles away? Because we're not going to be able to sleep if there's more coming. No, we <laughs> have to sleep. <laughs> we have to, because he just ran out of spell slots. Who's going to stay awake then? It was whoever the next shift was. Yeah, yeah. It, it was, was going to be you. I think it was you or Elsbeth, one of them. It was Ryan then, or it was uh, Theobard and then Elsbeth. If I'm not mistaken. Doesn't matter. Yeah. Well, Val just. If you guys want to take a nap, then fine. I'll I'll watch. We're finishing. I didn't our... use too much of my uh, spells anyway, so you guys can try and sleep as much as you can. Elspeth said I slept the whole first shift. I only commune for four hours, so I can watch the remaining shift. Yeah, I only shift. four hours too. So. Okay. All right. We'll take our chances. Yeah. So yeah, Elspeth said she'll take the last shift and make sure everyone can get the full night's rest. Okay. I'm making a cigar too. Okay. All right. All right. So, um, her shift goes by pretty uneventful, pretty quiet. Um, you guys end up waking up in the morning. Sun's coming out. What would you like to do? Mm. Guess I'll make breakfast. <laughs> Val's gonna be ready to go. Like she's just gonna sit on her horse, ready to go. At this point, she doesn't want to stay anywhere near this place. Okay. So if you guys want to eat breakfast, go ahead. Fuck these people, I ain't leaving. <laughs> I'll eat. I was raised by wolves, I ain't scared of no goddamn wolves. I eat lizards. <laughs> okay, so you guys just camp, get, pack up your camp and start heading to um, towards Pirate's Cove. Yeah, <laughs> so <laughs> you did, um, In fact, you got to, what was that town again? Sorry. Garhan. So you guys got about another 150 miles, I think? No. No, no another, another 50. 50 miles? Sorry, yeah. another 50 miles? Yeah. Okay, so that's going to take most of your day. It's about an eight-hour eight hour trek. Um, you guys uh, start to get closer to where, you know, Pirate's Cove is supposed to be, and you start to embark on this uh, cliffside town. At some point, we got to get these made. Okay. Um, you see a big sign that says uh, Pirate's Cove. Very uh, wooden stacked um, buildings, kind of rickety, downtrod. You see uh, what looks like to be um, the the ground is like kind of muddy and, and uh, dirt filled. It's not like cobblestone or anything. Um, kind of a visual image of like a skid row type town, but on the like cliffside. Um, okay. You I see, no however, yeah, me neither. as yeah. you're looking kind of in the town, uh, you see one enormous building that's like very gaudy almost. It's like bright golden painted uh, building. And at the very top, it says Lux Casino. Oh. I'm going to look at it, but I'll be like, bingo. That's probably where we have I to go. I be able to get the cigar there. <laughs> All right. Well, should we, get, should we get like a tavern for the night before we go to the casino? Or I can go get a tavern. Well, it's eat, middle of the day, can, right? Well, it's it took half of our day. Yeah, it to took about there. eight hours to get okay. there. So I'll, I'll go get some rooms and then I'll uh, meet you guys at the casino. Welcome. Okay. okay. Alright. Uh, Val's gonna go look for some rooms to stay in, or a tavern okay, to stay so in. Let me show you guys what you see. Like, never mind, you don't get to see it. <laughs> right? I lied, I lied. <laughs> Imagine, use your imagination. <laughs> That's what D&D's all about. Okay. So, um, you guys are coming in from this and area, and, and this is Cliffside Ocean. Gotcha. Where are we coming from? Where are we coming from again? Left, right, bottom? Uh, right. Bottom. Yeah, like down there, okay. down that. Well, in front of all those, you guys are like ahead of the town, but that's what you see. Oh, sick! There's an apothecary right across from the tavern. Uh, all right. So she is gonna just immediately go into that tavern. That's gonna be right to their right. Oh, what's the name of it? It just says tavern. Yeah, there's no name. You don't write names for them. It's just tavern. tavern. Oh, okay, okay. One second. Okay. So you walk in, um, there is a human male, about, looks like maybe mid-50s, uh, behind the bar. Kind of bigger build, kind of a salt and pepper, uh, great hair, big beard, kind of bruised like he goes, 
looks at you, kind of kind of gives you like a like cross-eyed, like up and down, looking at you. Care to, care to get a drink? A drink and a few rooms. How many rooms are you looking for? Uh, four. Do you guys well, care? I only any? got uh, three rooms available tonight. Uh huh. Do you want those three or? Um. How much? Uh, they're one gold per room. One gold per room. Mm, sure. Okay, so three rooms. Three so rooms. Like, okay, that'll be three gold. No, there's right. gonna be any. What about animals? Do you guys do you guys have stables or a place for animals? Uh, we don't. You can go find the yeah, at the stables. You can go stock your horses. God's gonna be in my room. Okay. Is there a pet fee? A pet fee? Pet fee. What kind of pet do you have? A gorilla. A gorilla. Yeah, you can't have no gorillas in the rooms. What about if I chip oh, in ten gold? <laughs> and then you can't have no gorillas in the rooms. It's a place of business. How would I tell you this gorilla is really smart? It's, it's a really magical gorilla. Really I don't Look, get it. I don't care if it's my great aunt Sally. If it's a gorilla, it's not coming in the tavern. God damn. It's a good thing because I killed your great aunt Sally. <laughs> Do you want the rooms or not? Oh man, I thought yeah. you were cool. Just tell me us, I'm bringing the gorilla in. Uh, yes. <laughs> yes. He's gonna, he's not gonna refuse me. It's yeah, gonna okay. happen. You know what? Yeah, yeah, we're gonna do that. Fine, we'll do it. He's gonna have some gorilla. She's gonna give, he's gonna give him the gold. You guys How many was it? Yeah, three one gold per room, so bad. three gold. Oh, calm down, room. God. You want for night. See, you don't want to get startled. Okay. Okay. Uh, she's gonna go to the. Off, right. She's gonna check into one of the rooms and just put like her stuff down for now. Okay. And then, uh, yeah, she's gonna leave. Okay. Okay. Oh, fuck. Uh, where are they? Where are you guys? Did you guys wait for me outside the tavern? Yeah. Okay. Um, got three rooms. Somebody's gonna have to share or sleep outside. I don't care if I have to sleep outside. Um, no to the gorilla. If you want, I have a disguise potion. We can just disguise him as a man. Or we can go no, to No, it's okay. And we'll just start walking in. Oh. Into the tavern? Yeah. Oh, fuck man. Okay, you what see, as man? soon as... Fuck, fuck man. Fuck. As soon as you start walking in, uh, <laughs> this big human guy is just... Hey, yeah, you got, you can, no, no oh. monkeys in here. No my god, uh, uh, cola. Oh. Cold, cold, uh, Rod finds that right. <laughs> I'll, I'll call the shadow hands. Call the shadow hands. I'll, I'll show you my tits. Get out of here. I'll show you my tits. <laughs> <laughs> I'll show you. Are you gonna flash him? I'll flash you my boobs if we can skew the gorilla. I kind of want to see what he's doing. No, I told him no gorilla in the tavern. Are you sure I'm young and you're hey, hairy? Young and perky. Shadow hands. I'm hey. young and perky. She learned from her mom. Just settle the fuck down for a second. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Christ. can I speak? His goalie broke out. First off, this is not a gorilla. This is an emotional support animal. <laughs> Second off, here's 20 gold. Shut up, I'm going to my room. He does not take your money. I don't want to stand in front of you. He's, no, no, no. 20 We're gold. We're gonna let the he, shadow hand hang. He, re he refuses 20 gold. I mean, it's his place of business, so he's like, I can't have. He a, refuses he 20 gold. He's not That's like a yet. lifetime for him. He's, he's refusing it. I seriously, okay. Yeah, he's <laughs> refusing it. Mm -hmm. you know, we'll let the shadow hands handle this. What the fuck are the shadow yeah, hands? Oh, the shadow hands. oh, oh yeah, you shadow hands. hands. You better get, get the shadow hands. hands. You know what I'm saying? Wait, can she like cast a minor illusion <laughs> on the gorilla? No, when you, you cast, to? if you want to, guess what's gonna happen? They're gonna see that you're casting the minor illusion. Watch, yeah, why do you keep doing that? Yeah, why do you keep doing that in front of people? Look, we can play it off and just say, fine, we'll turn him into a man. He's actually a man. Just he's comfortable being a gorilla. Okay. Now we have to disarm him. He wants to be a man. <laughs> there is like, can you guys calm down? <laughs> I, don't, I don't like this. God damn it. I Wait. Don't like this. <laughs> oh what are the shadow hands? Yeah, so can I roll to give this motherfucker? Okay, my well, hands? shit. Alright, so what's up? Uh, you You're really this? stubborn on keeping this gorilla um, here? Wait, 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 wait. What about we do this? Oh, God. Let's go outside. Oh, yeah, we'll go outside. No, let me speak real quick. Let me speak real quick. Let me speak real quick. Let's go outside. Let's play it off. Let's go behind like a, like a, um... Please don't tell me you're saying this out loud. No, I'm not saying this out loud. I'm saying this Let's as... just step outside really quick. Yeah, let's just no, step No, I'm just going to go to another not broke-ass no, tavern. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. No, no, I have an idea. 
deal because we are, she already paid for the room. So here's what we're gonna do. Can I get she, a refund? No. Fuck off, we're getting these rooms. Okay? Well, if you don't get the refund, though, I'm gonna let my gorilla tear it. Hold on, hold on, hold on, wait a minute. Okay, no, I don't so wanna here's... stay at this broke ass cabin. <laughs> hold the fuck up, we gotta get a we refund. Got this. We got this. Fuck a refund. You wanna go retrieve your items from the room, miss? Fuck it. <laughs> Motherfucker. I don't wanna I deal with this right now. Start looking arguing. for bananas. You see um, four figures start to walk into the bar. All uh, black garb. They not like cops or soldiers. Are they like vigilante justice? They do have swords, and you Shit. can see weapons on them. And Val's gonna. Val's How gonna, big is the building? Uh, it's two story. It's two story. Yeah, two story. All right, so I'm that's about to make it zero. Twenty feet. So I can. Is there like a pillar? Well, I mean, there's like, yeah, there's like, are you even on the outside? Uh, we're on the inside, right? Yeah. Uh, no, you're um, still on the inside. Is there like a pillar? On I mean, the there's a doorway where you're at right now. So, so basically, I want to start climbing shit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. God. Roll, roll an athletics check. I think you get a plus on your climb for an eight. I, think I do like get an athletic. Uh, can you Google it real quick? Yeah. The I think it's like a big plus on climbing or something. Like, you get advantage or some shit. God. I had an idea, but no one says it. So as as this is all happening, the these four Val's gonna grab her shit really fast. Um, as they walk in, you see one is a human. Plus two. Um, the other two two of them are half no, orcs, so and then the other one looks like he is a halfling. It's and not, they're all not. in their black garb and. It's not. Let's not. Let's not. Let's not. I'm a gorilla. Dog. I'm gonna. Let's not. I'm gonna look at Val and I'm gonna say in, in Infernal, why didn't you let me speak? <laughs> why are we still here? I don't Should I yell back in Infernal? Because... Brutus, heard you needed some uh, some assistance here in the tavern. No, he doesn't. Look and the and the uh, this is the uh, Head. human uh, I like, I male looking at you guys, kind of looking at all four of you. What seems to be the problem, Brutus? We can handle this all shit, well. Right? You see, with them, they ha and then <laughs> did you make your climb? Uh, I rolled an eleven. So yes or no? You have pluses. That's yeah, that, that, that his, was with the plus. That was with a plus. Oh <laughs> yeah, no, you made it. So he says, "You see that?" He's like, "Oh, look, see, see, it's starting already." <laughs> okay. And he like uh, Brutus is like, "Oh yeah, they're gonna, they, you know, they, <laughs> bro, <laughs> they don't this monkey business <laughs> in my <laughs> tavern." He only started because you started yelling and wouldn't let us well, go okay. to our room. Hold on, hold on. Oh God. Wait, hold on, hold on. I'm sorry. What is your name, sir? Dumbass. <laughs> Talking to the human. Yeah. yeah. I'm sorry. What, you trying to what is your name, manager? sir? Bro, Darren. I started yeah. shitting nice, everywhere. Nice to meet you, Darren. My Can name is um, <laughs> um, Ryan and Alicia. Roll perception check. Fuck. Can I roll the shit? Oh, fuck yeah. 20. 21. Both of you notice the elf standing next to him is beginning to cast. Hold perfect shit. scroll. Shit, 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 no. You no. have to pull out the scroll and No, it. no, you let's have go. A, do you have counter spell? Because that let's would go. work, actually. Let's go. Counter spell is what would defeat I it. Doubt it. At this point, they're gonna keep an eye on us here. We'll fuck them up. Boy. We gotta go. We're on yeah. a mission. Let me just you try to knock a spell out. Shit. That's another way. You can counter spell or knock a spell out. How far am I out. from? Like, I mean, you're within range to like. You know how spells work. Oh, like, okay. If, you, if yeah. I'm that close, then yeah. But you definitely notice that he is doing an incantation. Sure, I'll push him. Um, no. Ryan, actually, also roll an Arcana check real quick. No. To see what <laughs> spell he's casting. Seventeen. That's a 17. Um, with your plus. 18. This looks like it is a um, telekinesis conjure like type spell. I'm good. Telekinesis, okay. We can just go to another tavern. That's what I was trying to do. Let's go. Uh, based off just basic intelligence of magic and arcana, your guess is that he's trying to get Grodd down. We're leaving. I was gonna say well, we're I leaving. I told God to get down. He started climbing. He said, "Oh, did we're he start leaving. climbing down?" Yeah, okay. we're leaving. Okay, we're leaving. <laughs> he stops the incantation when God listens to you. We're leaving. Okay, we're leaving. We're out. We're we're gonna go. Okay, <laughs> hold on. I want to speak to this Darren. Of oh me. my God. Um, no, no, no. Shadow bitches. Do you know where there's a tavern I can bring my gorilla at? Probably oh. nowhere. Okay. 
He goes, well, with that type of attitude, I don't know if any taverns are going to welcome you here. Yeah. <laughs> What's gay? Well, We're just well, having a bad day. Taverns here, man. I don't well, want to be here. Well, We're just having a bad day. Well, Darren. Turn money up, not your funny up. Uh, <laughs> well, <laughs> Brutus, it looks like they're getting this uh, monkey out of here, so. Whoa, Whoa that is races. racist. <laughs> oh, my God. Whoa. Bravo. We're leaving. Can I Whoa. roll for race check? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, okay. Well, she's gonna, uh, uh <laughs> that was gonna start like maybe, backing up okay, towards okay. the door. Be like, let's go, guys. As you do, let's the go, um, the two half forks that were kind of blocking the door move a little to the side to see that like you're leaving. They, <laughs> they, they, give, they move slightly to the that side. That was gonna like just like lightly cross with thank you, thank you, thank you. A good day. Have a good night. I'm gonna, have a good night. We're sorry. I'm gonna, Jesus Christ. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna look at Darren. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say, I'm sorry for causing all this commotion. No, we're not. Why are you too nice to this piece of shit? Oh my god, go, let's go. So, because what the fuck did he do for you? Hold on. Hold on. We, we gotta stay the here. Mission. We're on a mission the mission. The fucking mission. The mission. The fucking mission. We gotta be he's good. He's not part of the mission. He's some broke he tavern might, owner. No, he might fucking help us. Brutus is the tavern owner. This is the. Uh, shadow people. It was nice meeting you. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Handsome. Fuck the shadow. Okay. You're really nice. I'm gonna tell, yeah, no, I'm gonna tell Darren. I'm sorry. Yeah, exactly. I'm sorry fuck for the shadow thing. hands. That's what I'm saying. We had a good thing going. Let's go. <laughs> I'm gonna say <laughs> sorry town. for all the commotion. We didn't mean for it to happen. <laughs> you guys just uh, passing through town? Or? Yes, we're yeah. not supposed to stay here. Yes, we're not supposed to stay here. <laughs> <laughs> we're not supposed fuck to stay here. Christ. We're okay. leaving. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Val's gonna keep going. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, uh, we're just passing through town. Oh know. shit. Just adventurers. <laughs> we're just <laughs> adventurers. Uh, make it quick. Nah. Yeah, we're mm -hmm. on it. Nah. nah. I think I'm gonna stay an extra week. Now. Yeah, gonna... yeah, I think I, I think I wanna stay an extra week. During all of this, I proceed to shit on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> can I roll for that? Yes, you can. <laughs> 16, that was a great shit. <laughs> Wait, do I get pluses like for like attacks? You're shit that that is him? shitting. So that's monkeys do throw shit. Are you throwing the shit? Are you throwing the shit? Yeah. <laughs> shit well, is, hold on, hold on. Is it an action to shit into my hand? Yes. <laughs> okay, so I take the action to shit into my hand. Is there a bonus action to throw it? Uh, uh, is there like a Yo. window? Anything glass that I can break? Yo. There's the behind the counter. There's like a. a Yo. A I proceed to launch. Never the have I ever rolled a hit. Great, now we're fighting. Nah, Yo. nah. They cleaned up the mess. No, that was fine. Plus so three, I rolled a twenty. Oh, Yo. I would roll a twenty. Hit, yeah. Oh yeah, okay. So We're 15 plus leaving. 5. Oh yeah, 20. that's gonna hit the glass. Oh and god. Shit splatters Does all it over break the glass. The glass? It. God damn it. It cracks it. it, doesn't shatter, but it like the, the shit splatters. <laughs> oh, god. god. I go, whoa. God. And go. Gotta love Dungeons and Dragons, guys. God. <laughs> you buddy. <laughs> Grod, as he's sitting there, like pissed <laughs> off with with Theo because he's mad at the situation too, <laughs> takes a big ass shit in his hand and <laughs> throws it at the fucking glass behind Grod. the counter. Oh. We were just leaving. Oh, we're and fun. that's for making racial. Remarks. A bunch of it splatters on Brutus. Some of oh. it gets on Darren. Misses the elf and a couple of the bar people at the uh, oh, main bar. Oh shit! Yeah, I thought this place was Rick. shitty before. Fuck. <laughs> Are you guys are still walking? You guys are walking out. That was gonna keep I leaving. don't even think I noticed because I was already walking out. Okay, so you guys yeah. are out here. <laughs> like like I said, I'm on my way up now. <laughs> you just okay. You really you really took a shit and then dipped. Yeah, I took that's, a shit, threw it at their everything, and then dipped. Okay. That's my Yelp review. Oh god. I wasn't Please allowed to shit. climb, and that is what gorillas do. So but I was gonna act like she did not do. see, hear, or shit. smell that. Okay. Just get on her horse. Last one in there, walking out. Yeah. I'm the last As one. you're walking out, you see the elf do this and cast press the digitation and cleans the. God. Shit off <laughs> of the... I'm like. Did, did he fix the glass? No, he just cleaned it. He <laughs> All right then. All right then. That's right. That's right. Oh god. Smart monkey. Okay, so where are you guys headed to? Val. Well, can I see the map? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. God. Mm -hmm. Shit. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna at this fucking tavern again. <laughs> God, now we have a reputation. You damn straight. Oh, God. I tried Yo, to make it better talking to Darren, but... No. Fuck there. Is, is there any people walking on the street by me? There's Jesus. all kinds of people. I'll, I'll, I'll just like, grab one side. Skid Row, tons of you know shading looking people. This is not like a. This is not like all spire. People no, aren't yeah. smiling and you know what I mean. They're keeping. I'll, I'll like stop one of the people walking by. Like, hey, buddy, quick question for you. 
where, where is there a tavern where I could probably pay off the person there to let my monkey stay in the room with me? Glad finds that reason. Um, <laughs> I mean, the casino caters to high class people. Let's like maybe try there. Higher faith, and I'll flip the soul. Going to casino. Okay. Kind of like looks at you crazy and like puts it in his pocket real quick and like starts skittering off like really fast. Yeah. yeah. Oh shit. Yeah, now get the fuck out of here. <laughs> get the fuck, fuck out of here. here. I'm gonna pay you literally one silver to fuck off. <laughs> Uh, Why don't you take the silver and I'm shove it up your ass? I'm sorry, those lizard people put me in a bad mood. She's just gonna go right towards the casino. Okay. She's not gonna go back towards the casino. I'm a little defensive. Those lizard people have had me in a mood. <laughs> okay, and sure enough, you guys do. You make your way towards um, where this big, gaudy... <laughs> looks very out of place compared... I mean, the, most of the architecture here is wooden, dark wood, dirty, dingy, milky uh, looking. And this is like this big, golden... Shining bright. Uh, um, <laughs> right, girl, if I may ask, I give you the word uh, this time. <laughs> how uh, how tall is the uh, building from I outside? Like the casino? <laughs> yeah, the casino. How um, tall is? It looks like it probably has about fifteen floors or so up. Lock. We have a lot of ground to cover. Then. Um. Okay. So, if there's fifteen floors, I say what we should do is we should all take a floor and then we should slowly progress up to see if we can find. Well, we should. Well, I need a room. Yeah, we, we need to get room. We need like break. Okay, true. All right. Okay, so you guys yeah, are I'm gonna, gonna go get a room. Okay, yeah. perfect. So yeah. yeah, you guys get to the casino. Um, you walk in, and there is a big, uh, round, half oval desk. When you walk in, it looks like three or four, um, different people working. Uh, a couple humans, a couple half elves. Um, you walk in. This year, a party. He's like, oh, we got quite a big party today. We're here for some gambling. Yes, yes we are. Wonderful, and are we going to be staying here at the casino tonight? Yes, yes. we are. Well, that's what I like to hear. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Wondering, what kind oh, of how many rooms would we be needing tonight? Uh, one, two, three, four, I believe. With four that, rooms total, that. are we trying uh, accommodation, common accommodations? A little bit now, what kind of accommodations are you looking for? Uh, we got a grill. I, know, I would like uh, one of the nicer rooms. All right, so we got a, the, a suite. Oh, we'll get a few bananas. All right, for sure. I'll get a suite. Two sweet. How many total sweets do we need? Do you want one? Do you want a sweet or regular room? Sweet, I guess. Okay, so three sweets. Yeah, and Elspeth will take one too. Uh, you guys got any uh, horses? Anything need to be brought down to the stables of the casino? Uh, we got a horse. The two horses and a camel, right? Elspeth's yeah. horse, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then and do they see Grod? Yeah, they see Grod. Oh yeah, he's chilling here. Oh yeah, hey, this is my familiar. He'll be in my room. So we offer, we offer, you know, I'm just saying, it's a, one of the amenities here of the casino. We offer, you know, animal pampering service if you want to get them cleaned up and, you know, make them look all pretty you for did them. just shit. Yeah, yeah. 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 out there. Yeah. 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 We offer a wide range of services when you get to your room. There'll be a, a parchment. Wait, you know what? Tells you all the Why different services you know and prices. I just went to this other tavern. God awful. <laughs> Already, after two minutes here, <laughs> Wait, I'm man. loving it. Says, you know, you're my kind of guy. <laughs> I, I can appreciate when I see folk that are here to, you know, spend their hard earned money and. and what else am I going to do at a casino? Exactly. So, uh, any services you want, please feel <laughs> free. You're welcome to come down here. Happy to help. I'll get you guys your rooms. Perfect. Okay. Uh, what, is, what is that name? That name. What? What is thy name? Oh, my name? Yeah. Angel. Angel. Nice to meet you, Angel. Nice to meet you, Angel. Uh, how much for the suite and the <laughs> service? Um, each suite, uh, well, there's each, so the services you can order individually when you get to the room. You'll see the different gotcha. prices for okay. those. Um, each suite, though, is uh, 35 gold per 35. night. Fuck. Fuck. How many nights are we staying? Well, I think we should just go night by night. Yeah. Because we don't know. We One don't... night for the three rooms. One, One night. night, but can we keep it going in case we need to keep, you know, in case we love the gambling? Like, so checkout check is technically 11. If you want to get in the room, 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 come before 11, let us know, and we'll book you the room for another night. Is it 35? Man, thank 35 you, 35 gold per night for each room. Thank you, Angel. You're the man. It says, uh... Leave your horses outside. He gives you three tickets for when you're ready to retrieve your camel and your two horses. Take right. these down to the stables, bottom floor of the casino. They'll get you your animals. Perfect. Cool. And he gives you each uh, one chip as oh. complimentary stave. It looks like it's worth one gold piece uh, uh, to play at the tables. Thanks. Yeah. 
and then kind of guides you and shows you where your rooms would be. It looks like you guys are on the seventh floor, and he gave you rooms uh, next to each other. Cool. Nice. Three suites next to each other. Cool. Okay. So I think uh, while you guys are getting settled in at this uh, Lux Casino and getting all settled in, uh, God, all, remember, always stay in the casino. Never go to the towers. Oh my God. Never go to the towers. Jesus. Well, and then if you actually like it, have your familiar take a shit in their hand and throw <laughs> it out the window. I am always ready to shit and in my hand and stop. destroy yep. huh. your establishment. Okay. Um, so I think that, that we will. We'll go ahead and stop right there with you guys are in Pirate's Cove at the casino in your room for the night, all settled in, and uh, we will pick up next time uh headed there and see where you guys get with looking for this heart of the ocean um okay. everybody thank you so much again for being here this was a fun one uh you guys are cracking me up for sure uh please if you guys liked it like and subscribe we love you guys we want to hear from you as we say going out every time a family that games together stays, stays together, together. bye guys we love you Woo. okay <laughs> metaphorically speaking